No, my I can't. Slavic jaw. Everyone, calm the f down. I don't mean this at all in any way, but JFK was no, not at all. Yeah. See, <laughs> I mean, yes, I'm going to Mexico. <laughs> So, uh, I, I found some new co-hosts, finally. You at least sound happy about it, you uh, More triumphantly. Guess what? We got actual hosts now. Hi, everyone. Unsubscribe podcast here. <laughs> ah! What's up, everyone? Hi. <laughs> I don't even know how to start this one. I just got a stupid-ass smile on my face. I want to hey, stem so hard right now. The boys are back in town. It's racially ambiguous. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and on Apple, Spotify, all those things. Go leave a review. You guys already support us so much. Y'all are amazing. Thank you. Double salute. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to all the new hosts. Uh, we we got it figured uh, out. Fucking, we got our shit together. Trials and tribulations. Here we Maybe. are. Maybe. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say got our shit together. That's yeah, probably got, yeah, wrong, that's but we're here. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Cody. Hi, everyone. I can reach across and touch you. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I like can reach it. across and touch you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Nick looking over there drinking again. Do we have to drink them all at once, or how does this work? I don't know. I, hope so. I don't know. I drink all of one. I'll have to drink a White Claw. You guys all have to drink a Guinness. So, so we equilibrium all, will happen. We, we all brought science a, works. a beverage of choice. So you brought Guinness. Yeah. You brought... I brought a rum, pirate rum. Okay. It's good. I brought pickle juice. <laughs> <laughs> no booze involved. Like, okay, I, White Claw. Come on, that's a given, everyone. Yeah. And I've got Gentleman Jack and Coke Zero, which is basically what I have on an IV these days. God, I just like how big of a bottle you chose. <laughs> You're like, yeah, he's got to reserve the, this is the house reserve after this episode, so. You went to Trader, or what's the... Not Walmart, but Costco. Yeah, he went to Costco <laughs> for his booze. <laughs> the Costco. Oh, I need this one. That's a one. 175. That should last us like at least three hours. At minimum. At this least. is going to be a very drunk episode. I'm uh, just going out. We're on celebrating. The We're celebrating. We're celebrating. This is going to be a. We're celebrating all the new hosts of the Unsubscribe podcast. God, this comment section is going to be lit. <laughs> you guys are already, <laughs> so you guys are already going ape shit in the comments. <laughs> we know. We know. We read them. We read them. <laughs> the Reddit's already like. <laughs> just typing up mm, shit like that. Here everyone, we go. everyone, calm the fuck down. I'm just picturing an autist on a typewriter <laughs> plugged into Reddit. Hi, everyone. Hi, so look up. Up. One, two room. Yeah. <laughs> we had a couple drinks leading up to today. Uh, we have Jake from Corridor in the background just drinking, looking like an old man. Hi, Jake. Hi, Hi Jake. Hi, Jake. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> I'm older than you and I hate it. <laughs> fucking, ki fucking kids in their podcasts over here. I'm an old one in this group. Oh, I don't even know what to say. I'm like, it's Friday. We're going to do this all night. Uh, it'll probably be a longer podcast and then we're just going to have a good ass time. I don't even know what questions to ask. Wait, Brandon, actually, we'll start oh, yeah, right. We Brandon has oh, a well, good yeah, piece of news. news. Well, no, I've got, so I've got two pieces of news. So for one, I, something I don't think I've said on the podcast yet. Uh, my fucking truck got stolen. That was really fucking cool. Oh, that sucked, man. We <laughs> so, were watching a movie the other night. We were watching that new, uh, uh, what's it, uh, Martin yeah, Scorsese yeah, movie. Yeah, the Scorsese movie. The that Killers was of the Flower Moon. Trash as fuck. It was fucking long. It was, that one, that one was, and as if the movie wasn't long enough, I had a longer night after that because I walked out to the parking lot, the rim, my, uh, fucking truck was gone. It wasn't there. It was really cool. I liked that. It was fun. So uh, moral of the story is, and uh, people that love Ford and Raptors yeah. don't live in Texas. How many? F no, wait a minute. No, no. no. <laughs> no the what? Yeah. No, no. Yeah. 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 Not I mean, don't don't live the fuck live up. Yeah. <laughs> Watch your fucking mouth. You're wearing Texas on your shirt. Thank you, by the way. Yeah. Brandon huh. Herrera for Congress. Yeah. <laughs> But everyone in this group has had their vehicle broke into how your Raptors. How many times have you had? Because I never had the door replaced or the, the door handle replaced where they popped it. It's been broken into like 10, 15 times. I'd never keep any yeah. guns, anything in there. Like it's thank God. But yeah. Yeah. Mine was like nine, nine to 12 times. That's insane. It's just F-150s, man. They never fix the problem. It's cheaper yeah. for them to not recall them than to, you know. Yeah. Way to go, Ford. Yeah, Ford really, like, I'm, a, I'm kind of a Ford guy, but Ford can suck a dick over yeah. that one. That sucks. Yeah. 
You're, and you're, Brennan just walking out. I just being like, man, that movie sucked. Low security. Oh, at least I get to go we, home. Can we get to the real questions? Uh-huh. Why yep. did Hitler have a life-size painting of Gerald Ford in his office? Explain that one to me. Hmm? Is that true? Mm. Yes. Is that true? That's oh, he admired Ford's ability to manufacture shit. Really? Yes. He was just like, this is it. I'm like, okay, I'm like 98% sure it's true. I guess I shouldn't say yes 100%, <laughs> but I'm like fairly positive. That would be a weird one to have. You just have that like just hanging on the wall. You're like, huh, this is cool. Well, I mean, Hitler did value efficiency. See? So, you, yeah. Do you, do you come in? Yeah, you can walk through. Yeah, walk through. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bye. Yeah. Here. Here, like, here, make it more awkward because yeah. he's just standing there. No one's coming in. <laughs> you have all the veterans like, uh. Kind of tweak it out. Like, just. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. like this. Yeah. <laughs> this <is kind> of <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, we just pull our gun. But I do have other news. On the way here, I got a phone call from San Antonio PD. Uh, <gasps> my truck has been found. <laughs> My truck has been found, and they made an arrest. Border Patrol made an arrest. <laughs> was it? So, was Hell it? yeah, dude. Piece Let's fucking go. Piece of shit has been caught. We are... I, unfortunately, don't get to get the insurance money and fucking buy something other than a Raptor. Oh, but I got my truck back. First of all, I'll yeah, buy your Raptor, and I'll take it back to Iowa. Secondly, some dude just got the shittiest lottery ticket ever. Imagine stealing a congressman's Raptor. <laughs> <laughs> And then I have to go like take a photo with Border Patrol, <laughs> thanking them for getting Dude, my shit back. It's gonna be awesome. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys. Like Border Patrol, <laughs> you guys already had a hard enough job. And we respected the shit out of you. But even now, it, now it's, it goes even farther than that. Thank you. So I have a personal reason to thank you. Now stop all the Mexicans. Yeah, if you could just stop those dirty Herreras and Cuevases <laughs> from uh, crossing the border. And randomly enough, there's a white guy that stole his vehicle. I don't know if that's true. Um, <laughs> I highly doubt it. Look. I highly no, doubt it. Don't over look. Let's not reflect Patrol. on the ability to keep things out. Let's reflect on their amazing ability to keep raptors in. Yeah, okay, that's the, that's the silver lining here. Don't Chris buy a raptor. Rapper made their arrest. Wait a minute. Why is there, a, why is there a raptor? Ah, <laughs> the six trucks just stopped. That was such a terrible joke. I, know, I hate that I, I got it, it immediately. <laughs> that's why we told it. That's actually re- what the fuck. I'm so, yeah, surprised. We got, all thought it was back in Mexico. So yeah, there's there's a few things awesome. I'm really actually. I mean, it was on the way. I, I want. I, well, they didn't tell me what. Seriously, it was. It was on its way. It got caught the border. by border patrol. There's that a poor kid. He's like. He just pulled up. See, I mean, yes, I'm going to Mexico, and then it's like, uh, it's just flagged instantly of stolen vehicle. Listen, What's you well, look like a Herrera. I was going to say, but... they, were, they might have not even. They, they may not have even scanned the license plate. They just like looked in the window, was like, why is there? 12,000 rounds of ammunition in the back seat. There was literally an RPG crate still in the back. It was empty. <laughs> it, I'm dead serious. <laughs> you got them caught. Dude. That's what happened. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Sir, what the f- is this an RPG? It's not mine. It's true. It's not yours. <laughs> it's, not like, it's not mine. <laughs> All right. Well, we should detain you right fucking now. Case, let's run these numbers. <laughs> I was always worried about that exact situation happening because for like my truck was still registered for a while as Matt Best's truck because he never got me the title. Um, but the <laughs> and but, then Brandon Herrera wow. gets pulled over. Yeah, like Herrera. I'm like a brown guy with a lot of like fucking guns and shit in the back on my way back from a range day. I've got like 100 AKs in the bed of my truck. And they're just like, <laughs> OK, Mr. Herrera, uh, this is a Mr. Best's truck. And they call him and he just fucks with me. <laughs> I can only imagine him just going like, you're who? <laughs> Yeah, no, that's not my. That's my truck. I I got stolen yesterday. Weird, crazy. Brian's like, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. You're in handcuffs, texting him behind your back. You're like, Matt, this you isn't fucking funny. Fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm never drinking black rifle again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least you had some good news come out. A terrible movie, though. Terrible fucking movie. I wasn't even Trashed worried about the movie anymore. Though, yeah. It was that bad. Uh, honestly, uh, Brandon didn't say it was that sorry, bad. Sorry, what movie is this? Killers of the Flower Moon. Yeah. I, I don't in know in my opinion, it wasn't a bad movie. It was just fucking long. It was like nobody's willing to tell Scorsese no anymore. So he's just coming out with these movies that are an hour and a half too long. Yeah, that's uh, Irishman, yeah. which I still haven't watched somehow. Okay, it's so, like three so and a half hours. You can see the yeah. decline of his creative process through the Irishman. I call it age. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> happening. And uh, like Brandon was saying, no one told him no on this movie, so he just fucking ran with it. 
And my God, it's like sitting in a nursing home, which is probably what he's about close to. So it was fucking terrible. <laughs> it's that bad? It it's was, fucking bad. I will, okay, I'm not willing to call it bad. The pacing was bad. The pacing was really bad. It was, and it, it told a lot of, oh, I'll put it this way. I couldn't spoil that movie for you if I tried. Because if you know the premise from the trailer, it's like, okay, a bunch of uh, Native Americans getting killed for their land for oil money. Yep. I couldn't spoil that for you because that's, that's what the, premise the and movie's that's all that about, happens. but there's like no climax. There's no, it's just a long three and a half hours of telling what could have been told in two hours really concisely. Or an hour and a half. <laughs> you just gotta keep condensing it short and short. I, you're like, I fucking hate this movie. Dude, I'm, Damn, I'm I was fucking... excited for that movie. I was like a cowboy flick. These have, well, it's not a cowboy. It's not a cowboy. It's not a cowboy flick no, at all. No, I, I there's read, nothing. No. Oh, I was way off. I take back my statement. No. All the the uh, the cowboys and Indians thing. All the Indians are just. Oh, it was a cool. Like okay, really, the first five minutes was really cool premise. Native Americans because they were Native Americans who were uh, Jesus Christ. Apparently, at the time, the the wealthiest people on the planet per capita because of all the oil. I could see that, and then so they were kind of crazy tricked. Well, there was a oh, no. That was during the ranching thing. It was getting sold. Never mind. You are a completely different one. So yeah, yeah this is like the nineteen twenties. So they're just rich, and then people are just st- killing them. And like the white dudes are trying to get their money from them. Yeah, like marry into the families and kill them off. Oh, yep, that's the story. And it's not good. It's and that's just, the story. That's it. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Oh my God, Henry! What is your least favorite thing about shopping during the holidays? <laughs> it's definitely the wine aisle. Not a fan of it. I know, same. It's just so irritating. (laughs) You know how to fix that? With First Leaf. It takes the stress out of finding new wines. What I like about it is when I've tried each wine, I can rate them so the First Leaf can send me more wines based on my feedback. First Leaf is a wine club that is amazing. You know why? Because they send you bottles matched to your unique palate. All you have to do is go to First Leaf's website, answer a few questions about your likes and dislikes, and their expert team will customize your order based off of your palate. Now, why do I love First Leaf? Well, that's easy. They ship alcohol straight to my door. You know how dope that is? Take this La Cuisine de Bleu. That's not how you say it. I'm just guessing. This is one two times gold, and in the wine world, that's important. Also, it's priced 30% less than what you would buy it at the store. That reason alone's worth it. Find the wine you'll love this holiday season with First Leaf. Go to tryfirstleaf.com slash unsub to sign up and you'll get your first six bottles, curated bottles, for only $44.95. That's tryfirstleaf.com slash unsub. Give your palate what it really wants with First Leaf. And it's, it's, it's like he took like the first paragraph at the top of the Wikipedia article and made a movie about that. Didn't get into any of the rest of the shit <laughs> no. down below. Like no, no specific heroes or characters or villain. Just fucking... Here's the gist like for three and a half hours. Yeah. Like Leonardo DiCaprio, oh, Robert De Niro, Brendan Fraser. Greatest actors of our time. Like, and it was just fucking trash. I'd rather watch a dog fuck a dead skunk for three hours than like watch that movie. <laughs> I mean, you do that anyway. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> Wait, um, I love that Brandon Fraser now is considered one of the greatest actors I of was, our time. I winced tell, at that a little bit too. I'm like, fuck oh well, but now The mummy is the best. I will I love fight people. Yeah. I fucking love oh, I agree. Yeah. If you watch well, like Homeboy can act. The mummy and the yet. mummy too. Is it, he he just d- decided to take a 20 year break there. You small, know, just small just, gap. It's a little, little thing. It wasn't a 20 year break. He was doing a 20 year uh, B movie. Christian Bale over. thing where he was just bulking for his next role. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He was getting diabetes for his role in the well. <laughs> of the well. Much. Which, if you... Yeah, it's a body suit. Yeah, that was a joke. Yeah, Jake, a thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that was... Thank, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Old dad over there. No, <laughs> no. Killing no. the train. You, Mr. Jake is not talking. No, Mr. Jake. <laughs> Dude, it's a body suit. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> we know. Jake, <laughs> Jake, can we can we talk a little bit about your yeah, awesome yeah. video that we, oh, made we did the that other last day? podcast? Oh, you already talked about yeah. it. Oh, he was right. on it, yeah. yeah. She you guys. She she No, that's gonna be fucking cool, man. That was it's, that was a fun time. That's one of the continuities of the unsubscribed podcast. People don't take into consideration. We filmed that yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you yeah. guys have already seen that a while ago. I'm sorry, yeah. I wasn't here Realize for Realize this gets put out <laughs> over a month. It's really just one three day bender for the rest of us. That's why we look just more and more like shit. As the episodes go on, hey guys, I've noticed it's like, oh, right there. That was definitely day three of that fucking bender. Because I'm like, my eyes, I age real quick in booze. <laughs> I, noticed, I noticed at one point, I think I 
I wore the same shirt to a podcast in a row because I was so drunk the next morning. I woke up, I put my dirty clothes back on and filmed another podcast. Say so, hi to Eli. Uh, <laughs> to, to, to explain that from a creator point of view, like one of our good buddies, like Nick, will come into town. And so because he's only going to be in town for a couple of days, we'll just do like podcast. Uh, we'll do like content with other cameos content creators, and videos, cameos like and that, videos. Yeah. And so we're all just like, go, 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 go for a couple of days. And On sometimes, top of the business stuff that we're already doing. Like if we're just yeah. sitting, sitting around talking about like how we're going to like work the business end of it. So like we're, we're actually doing a lot of stuff when, you know. But drinks are involved. While we're drunk the entire time. <laughs> for three days in Not a row. Not drunk. <laughs> Definitely drinking. Drinking, not oh, drunk. Yeah. Buffering. It's hard. <laughs> Buffering. <laughs> Buffering. Loading. Drunk. Yeah. When yeah, we're loading. loading. We're, loading. We're, we're oh, good drunkering. Go. That's a new term. <laughs> drunkering. The drunkering. We're not. The Everyone dr- the drunkening. actually works <laughs> pretty hard all the time. Even though it looks like fun and games, it is uh, still a lot of work that it's goes be- behind. It's because a lot of the work is to show you guys fun and games. Yeah. We're entertainers. That's kind of how it works. We work so, so hard so we don't have to work sometimes, it's, if that makes sense. It's yeah. beautifully put, actually. We work so hard, so we, so it looks like we don't work. What? what did yeah, you we say? work so hard, so we don't have to work sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the best way to put it. Although I don't think any of us really take breaks. No, we were just, uh, Nick and I were just talking. Yeah, we were about just that talking too, about that vacation. We, we like not f- wanting to take vacations yeah, and shit. Yeah, we feel bad when we're not working or right. putting out content or doing anything. Dude, taking a day off is the weirdest thing because it was after the big sword, yeah, content. That was my first day in a long day. I just took off and I like put my phone aside. I was like, I need at least one fucking day to like regroup Decompress. as a human and not see my phone and watch anime and just. Mm. No, I, like, about I mean, like my family's always trying to get me to take time off and like come out and see them for like three or four days. I'm like, dude, I, I love my family. I have a really good relationship with my family. But dude, day two, day three, I'm like. I'm getting antsy. Like I can't, I can't not work for that long. It bothers the fuck out of me as, so, a, as a person. Ever since I started doing the longer form content videos, because like I'll read a couple books on the topic in a week, in three days, and then make the video and then get it to fluck and get it edited in a week. So like I've done that so many times now. I can't. I don't have the attention span anymore to watch TV. Because like when I'm, oh, dude, it, I like. Nope, I I'm, feel you. <laughs> like I have to listen. Like, I'll read the book, and then I'll re-listen, I'll, like, reread the book, but I'm listening to the audio book now, yep. and then I'm listening to the audio book while I'm, like, mowing the lawn or doing whatever else or playing League or, like, whatever. Like, I'm constantly just listening to the audio book, so, like, I no you longer have the, the mental capacity to just Fucking be able to sit down and just watch one TV <laughs> show. Me to it. It's like, this is boring. You play League? I love it. Oh, my God. He's I huge love and- it. Me and Fluck play League probably... Most nights. What's your rank? Huh? What's your rank on there? Uh, I don't know. I don't play rank that much anymore. He's, okay. he's I, saving his sanity. He's like, no, we ain't, no. We ain't I gonna. try not to care. <laughs> like, if we start sucking, I start trolling immediately. Like, I do it. I do it for fun, not because I want to win. <laughs> he's playing Cho'Gath top lane. And we're listening to Mein Kampf to get World War Two history. He's like, man, this is great. No, that's hey, accurate mid, as I need fuck, you actually. To, you listen, how, often, how often would you say you listen to mine? Not that, but like, I'm over here listening how to many just time, like... How many like, times a year? I'm listening to a book about like, I don't know, Unit 731 in Japan while I'm yeah. just like worried about getting stacks on Cho'Gath's ult. That's like the German <laughs> equivalent of how often do you think about the Roman Empire? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro... Listen. I'm almost, po- I'm almost positive that one communist kid is crying through the computer after that. This I was actually lunch. about to bring that up. This dude, at, we're, we are eating lunch, going over podcasts, we're going over business. We're, we are just ideating. We no. are focused. Look over. This is Nick. And... I'm looking we over and just for like 15 minutes. I see the, minutes. Oh no, I see the Encyclopedia Britannica getting written. <laughs> That was mad. And then, and then, and I'm then upset. Cody's like, what are you doing? <laughs> so I'm arguing with this kid on this. Cody doesn't realize Nick is in college to be a historian, so he thinks he's on a forum. Even Which, better is like, no, nah, it's one of the classmates. I'm tearing her up. Some, fucking asshole. Some poor little fucking 20-year-old girl. <laughs> It's Don't like, give a nah, shit. communism is kind of cool. Don't Nick's, be a simp for communism. Yeah, I'm Nick, make Nick's you over there like, I'll explain to you. And like you said, the fucking go, encyclopedia go. Oh, Britannica. What do you want to know? Like, I, 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 although what's funny to me is like you're going to school to be a historian. 
Although, <laughs> arguably, <laughs> you have you have basically educated more people on history than most historians put together. Probably, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How many millions of views so far in climbing? Hundreds. Yeah, it's so crazy. Yeah. And now somebody who knows less than you is teaching as, you how as, to do it. As, as being around other people that understand that, like the YouTube analytics. So, like, we can go to analytics. There's a special app and everything, and like we can see like how old our audience is, what country they live in, like all these different things. And the one that always blows me away is like how many watch hours I have on my yeah. channel where it's like hundreds of thousands of hours of watch time. And it's like, it's like that moon night thing. Where I, I did the math. Like the days are passing. <laughs> I did the math like six <laughs> months ago of like, if you, if your average person has a 56 year work life and they work 40 hours a week, blah, 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 blah. And I did the math. I was like, I've deprived the world of like 46 people's entire working career's worth of time. However, <laughs> if it was between you and like Markiplier, not nothing wrong with Mark, Markiplier, great creator, but Love you, I Mark. mean, at least you're learning something. <laughs> I, right? Yeah, Thanks, that's fair. Markiplier. Markiplier. <laughs> oh, Jake knows Mark. Yeah, oh, that's right. He does a lot of work with Corridor. Yeah, Jake says he's. I genuinely, I genuinely like Markiplier's content. Like his Five this? Nights at Freddy's thing back in the day, which, by the way, apparently that is this just shit. straight pickle juice or is yeah, there it's alcohol? It's, it's just juice, straight right? pickle juice because oh. Cody wanted straight pickle the juice. The fuck? I don't know, dude. And it like was his drink of juice. choice. Oh, awesome. No, we're good. I like it. I'm down. Here's yours. Say hi to pickle juice. Uh, we're gonna. Cody's was. <laughs> pickle juice. Summon was Cody. Pickle joy. juice. Pickle juice. Pickle juice. Jesus. Mmm. Heartburn. Mmm. Oh. It tastes so good though. Like that actually is fucking good. I love pickle juice. I love too. pickle juice. That's fucking. That's really good. It is it's actually a good hydrator. Like if you're if you're working out a lot, you're running a lot. Like drink, I can drink some pickle juice. Water Pick, too. I can fuck yeah, you. Yeah, 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 don't, don't just yeah, drink waters. pickle juice. <laughs> I can drink straight pickle juice. That Jesus Christ! Delicious. Don't fill a camelback full of pickle juice. No, and you'll set die. off on your trek or, into the or desert. Or do we're not your dad? Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. don't. No, don't. Warning. Just like just Tim Lasso. Warning. No, don't listen to that. You do what you want. Oh my god. This is America. You're free. I put soy sauce and die. Jake, the lawyers over there are calling. Fuck. <laughs> but I'll also the back of mayonnaise, <laughs> like the fucking Kenai days. You know, sometimes you got to do that, man. You got to fucking fill up a whole backpack full of mayonnaise and fall on your back on it. <laughs> when yeah. I was at medic school, we had a guy do that. He filled up a camelback full of vodka, and then those camelback, like the, they're like Alka Seltzer tablets, but it's like electrolytes or whatever. He filled it up with vodka and those. Did he die or almost? Like, I feel like that would kill you. Dude almost went to the hospital. <laughs> Twelve miles or how far was that? It ruck? wasn't even a ruck. He was just in formation and went through the day getting fucking hammered out of his mind. What Jeez. a fucking G. Fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, no, what's the I next did, I'm I had to do, do a lot of push ups because of that. Here's my five in one bottle open. Thank you. <laughs> Nick, please explain what, what this lady what? what you were arguing about. Is that not today? the shit you take out grout with? The homework like, assignment. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Was did you fly with that? No, no I, I had it. Please tell me you did. I, had, I, had I never go anywhere without my five in one paint scraper from Home Depot. Man, you are a tradesman. Jesus Christ. So when I was decorating the house, I bought this to scrape the mud off the wall because I'm Mexican. And now we use it as a can opener. Like, Husky. To be fair, I would have used that to scrape the mud off the wall and I'm white. So whatever. So wait, oh, I've got a story about that. The, what, Mexican when, or the well, no, so like uh, like Mexican mudding, sense. like so. I used to do construction as a, as a kid. No, 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 I know no. some crazy Herrera Brandon Herrera did, did? I as a kid. But, <laughs> of, the, of this as tape. a kid, literally as a kid, I'm not even fucking kidding. Like kid I, through teenager. Yeah, <laughs> I hate this. Is like anyone raise your hand if you've done construction under the age of 15. Oh fuck you! Put your right, right hand out. Also, <laughs> who's, no, I'm joking. Oh, who's trailer trash, man? Oh yeah, that's true. Did you also used to cut grass for a living? Yeah. All right. Well. Cody, your trailer trash. You're you one, of <laughs> <laughs> one of us. One of us. Am I an honorary Mexican now? Trailer trash and Mexican, same thing. They just hate each other for some reason. <laughs> you can say the other hard R now. <laughs> the, the one that starts with a B. <laughs> <laughs> Between me and Eli's powers combined, we bestow that upon you. Oh, dude, Here's a card. <laughs> dude, trailer trash is expected to say slurs. So. <laughs> it's also just literally your power. <laughs> so on, you know, hey. on brand. <laughs> But no, uh, I'm but so happy to be back. <laughs> <laughs> Our lawyers over there just like, fuck. <laughs> well, what did you pull us in? You know? <laughs> this is a bad idea. <laughs> but the story was uh, there was uh, some people down south. So I grew up a lot of my time because, you know, military families and whatnot, uh, Fort Bragg. And uh, just south of that was a place called Lumberton. You had Lumbees. 
who were like kind of like no. you know about the Lumbees or we, no, we no, not, area? no I've heard that phrase before I don't remember what the yeah. fuck it is they're dude. a Native American group but they're like they're they're basically like kind of uh, like half black half native kind of you know they're they're their own like kind of conglomerate of stuff uh, but they would always be uh, the people that we used for uh, like mudding sheetrock and so people used to call them the mud people <laughs> and it was funny because it sounds like a fucking right. it sounds like a fucking slur. But if you knew anything, it's like no, that's not why they call them. they call them that because they're great at, sh- at, at doing that shit. That's something you say, and then like somebody gets really offended, yeah. and then you tell in them thirty the years. And they Congress look dumb. and Herrera yeah. is going to be in trouble <laughs> <laughs> from this podcast. In how many years? <laughs> thirty. No, God, no, oh, I would yeah, be long no. out. Of, uh, two, two, <laughs> two years, two max. Vote yeah, that's what they all say. So when you were yelling at this girl, why? Explain this Just, argument that you were going on diatribe about. Uh, it's the Did whole, you call the her a whole, mud person? The whole, no. <laughs> <laughs> the whole class is literally just... <laughs> so he starts the argument. <laughs> Listen, here, <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> you fucking mud person. <laughs> <laughs> the professor's oh. just like, bro, you can't say that. <laughs> She's a good sheet rocker. <laughs> So <laughs> the whole class is just graded debates, right? I missed this. I really <laughs> missed this. <laughs> it's just <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> or tell us your story. <laughs> The whole class is just graded debates and the professor like has a writing prompt and you just write your opinion about it. And I write my opinion and I always take a super controversial America's fucking awesome stance, which shouldn't be controversial, but apparently it is in college now. And the question was compare the rise of communism in the USSR and uh, fascism and Nazism in Germany during World War II, and my stance, like, it was longer and had examples and citations, whatever, but basically it was like, it's two different flavors or two different ways to get to the same results. They both want a homogenous society that's totalitarian, so they have complete control. So basically you had to explain to a college student what horseshoe theory is. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, They're just mad because, like, they all agree, like, when you call Nazism bad, everybody's like, yes, absolutely, but when you call communism bad, it's like, no, it's definitely not because the the... The Nazis wanted to have everybody be the same race and communists just wanted everybody to be the same class. And I go, yeah, homogenous just means the same. There's racial homogeny and there's class homogeny. They don't care how you're the same. It's just two different versions of the same thing so they can control you. And then they get super mad just because, I don't know, they like the idea of (laughs) the class has to be the same. They're just, well... The Nazis want to have complete control and the communists just want to take all the goods and redistribute it, to which my example was like, okay, cool. Uh, If I put you in a jail cell and I have complete control over you versus if I drive you a thousand miles into the desert and I leave you and then I only give you goods or food, water, and shelter if you comply with what I tell you to do, is there like a meaningful difference between the two things? You have complete freedom to do whatever you want in that desert. Mostly, Mostly fucking die. I mean, or is there really a the, difference? Let's say in Ukraine, where wheat is controlled by the Soviet Union. Yeah, exactly. And then she's uh-huh. like, well, fascism's bad because the Nazis committed atrocities. And I go, do you think communism didn't commit <laughs> I love fucking that. atrocities? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got, I got. Holocaust, Holodomor. <laughs> let's let's talk about the Holodomor. That time yeah. that the fucking USSR decided that they wanted to liquidate the wealthy peasants, a.k.a kill them and prison them and move them around and then oh fuck those were the ones that grew all the food and now 10 million people are going to starve to death so, oh fuck fun story that happened to soviet hero uh mikhail kalashnikov so i read his book uh i've actually, oh, actually read a couple of those books brandon read he, this last night after yesterday's bro, podcast he's I have, like i need to study <laughs> on need to study up. No, it's, it's been on like, some history real it's, quick it's been a couple years but yeah I, I have read his book and he basically talks about yeah right i'm like like i, I told you i'm gonna have a concise history story next time he's talking about uh growing up early on his his family was considered like moderately well to do and he was like when he was a young child was a victim of that where they just like came into his fucking village you're not allowed to do moderately shit. well in communism no it's not moderately allowed. well is very it's dangerous like the American dream where you just like have a white picket fence and a boat. No, that shit's Dying. absolutely not allowed. If you have assets, <laughs> you're fucked. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And so like they, they took them and they like ended up like a train to Siberia kind of shit. 
and that's where he ended up. Uh, and then, of course, he became a Soviet tanker, uh, fought against the Nazis, and then invented one of the best weapon systems of all time. Jake, fight me. Um, <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about this specifically. I almost called you, but I saved it. I almost called you three weeks ago, but I saved it for next time I came okay. to town because I wanted to talk to you about this. I'm going to ask a question to these two. I know you know the answer, but don't answer. All right. I'll get more ice. You guys are familiar with the Galil, correct? C. Oh. Yeah. So the Galil, if you, if you don't know at home, is literally just the Israeli version of the AK-47. Basically, they just wanted an AK that shot 5.56 five, so they could get free ammo from the rest of NATO. That's how that worked out, right? Okay. Guess what the creator of the Galil's last name is? <laughs> yeah, I know. Is I know you know. Sounds, That's why I held... <laughs> it's not fucking Galil, is it? No. They had to rename it Galil Hitler. because his name is so controversial. Hitler? Or no. The creator of the Can Galil's I, last name thinking. is... Full name. He knows the full so, name. <laughs> Kalash, I don't know this so I'm like, wait, hold on. Kalashnikov created the AK, right? Yep. No fucking shit. The guy who created the Galil, his name was Balashnikov. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fucking, Are just, you serious? I yes. thought it was a fucking A hundred percent. Oh my God. Why did they keep that? That would have been the Because best. they were like, it's way too close. You have to name it something else. It's the AB47. <laughs> like AB556 or some shit. Bro, if this was 20, like now, a dude would have came out with that and been like, yes, a Balashnikov. Like, nah. Like, no, <laughs> named after me. No, for real. <laughs> I see his wife at home or his girlfriend mocking him. She's like, ooh, Kleshnikov, Beshkov. It's like a guy who made a clone of a 1022 and his name was Bruger. <laughs> <laughs> Banana Banna Beleshnikov. <laughs> Bitch. Dude, no, look, no ooh, it's real. <laughs> Is that not the weirdest fucking thing on the planet? How the fuck did He that literally happen? changed his name because I think he was, uh, he was a Jew who moved to Israel, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. I think that was correct. There's Jews know. named Baleshnikov? I don't know if we're allowed to talk about that at yeah, this point we, right now. When this is, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this, 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 this whole, thing happened this past month? You want to talk I about it? I said the name of the country that's the hot topic right now. This video is getting taken. Rhymes back. with Balestine? Mm -hmm. You want to <laughs> talk <laughs> about it? <laughs> Baleshnikov. Paramotoring. Becoming a, oh, a new pastime <laughs> in the Middle East. <laughs> What the Fight. fuck? How did I never know about Baleshnikov? It's Baleshnikov. hilarious, isn't it? The AB47. The person the running this simulation is like, fuck, I accidentally generated two people to make the AK-47. Damn. That, so gun, that, gun, that gun fucked in. Uh, Kalashnikovs are taken. His Try name, Baleshnikov. His name became Yisrael Galil, Galili. But his original name was uh, Yisrael Balashnikov. And he moved to Israel? <laughs> Yeah. Israel moved to Israel. The well, and, and he changed it. It was kind of the thing to do at the yeah. moment. Yeah. <laughs> Cold turkey might be great on a sandwich, but sometimes it's not the easiest thing when you're breaking bad habits. We're not talking about some weird, crazy mind voodoo from your neighbors. Use your own sarcastic example. We're talking about our sponsor today, Foom. And they look at the problem in a different way. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So instead of drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Right, Henry? Help me. You're going nowhere, Henry. Instead of electronics, fume is completely natural. Instead of vapor, fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard. But switching to fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 people and has thousands of success stories. And there's no reason you can't be too. Join fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head over to try fume Fume.com and use code UNSUB to get 10% off your journey pack today. That's tryfume.com. T R Y F U M E.com. Code UNSUB. So Bisrael moved to Israel and he started the Blashnikov because of the Kalashnikov. <laughs> what, what does Israel <laughs> use right now for their weapon system? Uh, they use a lot of stuff. So uh, IWI manufactures a lot of their stuff. They use a lot of the, uh, the M4 platform. They also use the uh, Tavors and uh, their new one. Galil. Why don't they use the Galil? Oh, the, the uh, caramel. Caramel is the new caramel. one. Caramel. Excuse me, caramel. caramel. Yeah, because it's Mount Caramel. Caramel. Yeah. So Caramel's <laughs> their new one. It looks like a... It looks kind of cool, but also it looks stupid so at the stupid. same... Yeah, like, you have that mixture of, like, you're like, eh, but also it looks fat as fuck. It is a big weapon, and you don't know why they were Jesus. like... Let's, oh, make is, the, let's make the S, uh, the ACR with less modularity, but also heavier. And b wider. Just 15 years around. later. Jamie, pull that up. 
Yeah, this is the, the <laughs> IWI Carmel, and I've never shot the gun. I just looked at the stats and thought, like, wow, that's another 5.56 five, rifle that has worse stats than a bunch of the Eight others. pounds fully loaded, I think, and it's a just a, it's an AR platform. Can we talk about how it's much I hate though. the Army's new gun? <laughs> Which one? Which one? I, I thought, I, seven. I thought yeah. you were gonna fucking you talk about it? that. I hate it. It's my I least favorite thing on the planet. I love to talk about this. Go on. So like, I'm I not, also hate it. I'm not like. I think Sig hates me now after my video. <laughs> it's good. Well, Sig I mean, is not happy with Congressman Herrera. None of my <laughs> gripes <laughs> are on the same level as his gripes. Like, he's he has like gun does he knows way more about guns than I do. So he has issues with like the individual gun and how it functions. I just have issue from like the history aspect. Like, NATO, hey, here's the deal. We're all going to use the same ammunition, so it's super fucking handy. If we ever end up in a world war, we can all share ammunition, right? <laughs> German America, did not learn this in World War II. Let's II. get a different fucking bullet for no fucking reason. Well, you know, we're really worried about being able to punch through body armor because we been, fight people that have body armor. Well, that means we're, well. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Except <laughs> we're... We see the writing on the wall on a few things, and <laughs> near peer is thrown around a lot more than it used to. Here, okay, look, I think it's a super cool gun, I guess. I like the concept. I think that I, it I should have been 308. Figure out how to make 308 higher pressure. That's all they did. They made the bullet higher pressure so it what's can penetrate body what's armor. What's the new round? 277 or something Fury, like that. Yeah. 6.8 Fury, I thought. It, yeah. You know what you need to do? Fury. We have a buddy. His name <laughs> is... Um, 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 um. Oh, Kevin Brittingham. Kevin. Kevin. No, Kev. Big Kev. Just Bevin follow the Brittingham. Eight six. Well, so no. So the reason why they're not going to use that is because eight six is specifically meant for subsonic, so it's short distance. Oh, yeah. The only whereas uh, like two seven seven is specifically or two seven seven Fury, eight six Fury, or excuse me, not that. Sorry, uh, six eight Fury. Just like uh, less Dixie over here. Uh, it's meant for longer distances because what they did is they did a combat report on basically when the U.S. military kicked fucking ass, and it's always at longer range. We I can, fucking I can let dominate you, long range. I can tell you for a year, I never shot over 200 meters. Well, mostly thinking of like the war in Afghanistan. Oh, yeah. Where yeah, you have yeah. a lot of mountain Oh, warfare. yeah, that yeah. makes more sense. Not like yeah. room clearing stuff, but like more like there's a dude on that fucking hillside who's shooting a dishka at us. But, yeah. like, but the, the rounds only penetrate body armor if you have the special round, which has a different type of metal near the strike or the primer. Right, because it's yeah, got like the, the silver end of the and primer. How much out of the load so, will be. so what they did for that—that's basically just to take away. Um, it's, it's a few things. What it, is, but it takes away from uh, the weight of the casing because it's it's polymer all the way down to the stainless steel rim or aluminum rim or something like that. Oh, I thought it was brass. No. Okay, I thought they had to have a different because it was a higher pressure. No, it's it's plastic. Is this costing more or less for them? Oh, it's probably going to cost a shitload, but. Right, but like that, then that all goes back to my problem of like America's biggest advantage in war since ever has been manufacturing ability, and now you're you have a manufacturing system that's been designed to make five five six and three oh eight, and yeah. you're just like fucking put that shit over there. We're gonna get one guy patenting a bullet making all the rounds. So let me fuck back it. this up again <laughs> and say, remember, I hate this weapon mm -hmm. system. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it. Fuck sucks. It because and it's also like it it is, it's so fucking heavy, dude. It's. It's front heavy. It's awkward. It's got it's been serious it's, feed issues. It's been committee fucked. That's why it has an yeah. AR charging handle. It's oh, the dumbest just, thing I've ever heard in my life. That magazine thing is wild. Yeah, where you just pull the fucking charging handle back and locks open. Have no, I showed you that? I've not known any of you. You didn't watch shit. my video, you fuck. No, I'm yeah. bad at watching my friends' videos in general. I, I am too. But <laughs> what, no, I said you. If you fucking slam, if you take a P mag, like a normal. This is the mag that they're like. Well, no, they issued it with Lancer mag, or they did Lancer mags in the testing. Yep, they're not fucking issuing them with Lancer mags. They're using P mags. If you lock it open, and you shove it, like let's say it locks open because you're empty, and you shove another magazine in. There's no over insertion stop. So you can blow right past and it kills the gun. It locks it up. It, it yeah. goes past the bolt yes. and you're just yeah. fucking yes. dropped. So you're you're in the middle of combat and you're like, oh shit, I gotta get a magazine in. And you don't have to do it hard. No, we yeah, yeah, I was with him testing it on this. It, that bitch just the gun's inoperable until you like fucking clear it. You have to rip it out and try to softly put it back in. And then they committee fucked it and added an AR charging handle. Which barely works because it's yeah, because it wasn't useful. designed to fucking do it? that. Huh? Have you fucked with it yet? I've tried to pull the fucking AR charging handle Online? on it. Jesus Christ. I think so. I was yeah. at your house. I damn near had to put both hands and hit, put my foot on the handle to pull that fucker back. But everybody's, 
Everybody's yes. like, well, yours doesn't it's, count because it's 308. And I'm like, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, all of my technical gripes with the weapon have nothing to do with the ammunition. If you have, I would just fucking, from a combat perspective of when you're in combat getting shot at and almost dying, you put in your magazines harder than usual. Science. I've also, learned this. Uh, how often did you take a, take apart your guns? To like clean or do any any sort of service. No, no, right? Because the M4 fucking uh, you had to clean it every time we left. You cannot dis. I believe this <laughs> Wait, is true. There's more. Don't quote. Don't quote me on this. I think it's true. You can't disassemble the bolt without tools. Wild. Wait. What the fuck? You can't just pull the. Pull I can the, take a pull I think the it's, firing pin, retaining pin. Yeah, I can break I'm, it I'm down right now. On on that. I'm like I'm like ninety percent sure, but I, I yeah. They were like, hey, so crazy. Wait, the so whole like, magazine. It, hold wait, on. hold on, hold on. The the magazine thing. I'll let you shoot mine. Is what kills me the most because I assure you, like, I have one day in all my life where I'm like, this is Eli's closest day to death day, and that I like went through six mags of bullets, like six full ass mags, and I was the one very bad spot. And I remember at one point I was just like this. I was like rolling out trying to find targets and shoot, and I roll back. And then I was looking down, and it was just rounds kicking around me, like just bullets hitting around me. I was like, I died today. This is Eli's day. So I started doing this. I was like, <laughs> three round burst, breath, 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 reload. <laughs> and I was not putting those mags in nicely. I was just like fucking firing because I was like, yeah, yeah I'm going to die. I would have been like this. Hold. Hey, bad guys, hold on one second. I got to. My magazine didn't function. set properly. <laughs> Got to go wider into the fucking hole. They didn't any stop to just be like, hey, let's not make it where we can just fucking no. jam it so into the when, And when they did the contract, and this is stuff that I'm like, this is, I don't want to get sued by SIG, but like, this is, <laughs> this is what I've been told, right? For the, for the actual contract trials, they use Lancer mags that have steel uh, lips on them for the... Uh, the magazine insert, like for so, like the, it's got an external. The, the magazine yeah. has the stop on it, basically. Correct. Yes, and so like that is hard to blow by. But polymer, tell right me you're it. trying to sell the government proprietary magazine technology without tell me. Well, dude, we were we were at uh, demolition ranches a couple weeks ago, and we were with one of our other friends who manufactures guns, and uh, we were he didn't know about it. We were showing him. And he was like, what the fuck? This is a real thing. We Well-known to- weapon engineer does big boy shit. Uh, who we shouldn't name, but yeah. yeah, he was like blown away. That was a fucking problem. He was like, holy fuck. He, he slapped a magnet, not even hard, just a little boot. It was like, the gun doesn't fucking work. I feel like How he didn't is- believe me when I told him. If, and as side note, I don't know uh, if you've been trained in combat or anything. One of the few things I, I've noticed I do uh, and slap the mag. Dude, a hard yeah. hit. Because yeah. I yeah. answer. Yeah. It does that's, not. That's what they teach you. Anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You put it in, you fucking hit it. You drop it. Pistol. If I put a pistol, fucking sm- yeah, I yeah, I, I never did overseas combat stuff like you did, but even in like SWAT training, yeah, pistol like you, you fucking, did police shit, even, and you were like, you slap it, <laughs> even with an AR, you fucking slap it in to make sure it's seated. You do that to this gun, and that bitch becomes inoperable. It was it's yeah, the craziest the fucking back. shit. It's your with new optic. Back. It just punches through the top. You're like, so what's going on right now? And then with the ammo, the whole point was so you could defeat body armor, right? And then you have to have a special round that does that. Mm-hmm. And correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't that round have a tungsten fucking core to it? And it that's should. what punches yeah. through the body armor? Mm. Cool. I'm thinking like macro warfare. Like my concern is manufacturing. We guess we where got we that get. Down. Oh, I see where you're going. Guess where with we this. get all our tungsten from? The China. The most, like literally the person we're worried about having body armor. Yeah. So it's like we're going to defeat the body armor they have with the products that we have to buy from them. We're not putting in the, the tungsten. We put in plastic. Don't do anything to body armor. We'd be fine. They don't know. <laughs> just no. yeah. sending us fucking yeah. shitty ammo. We're like, eh, it's good. Or we just start issuing like fucking DI six eight rounds, that, like give you fucking testicular know. cancer. I just just gotta shoot him in the dick. I feel like maybe if you wanted a better, a longer it. range Depleted rifle, uranium. you should have just actually had the dude that's the rifleman. Should have a better gun that's 308 and more accurate, you know, with the fancy optics or, or whatever five. the case is, or whatever. Six, yeah, six, whatever. Well, I want 308 just so all the rounds are the same. You have 308, you have 556. Five, Every that way, all the rounds so you can share ammo between people. But like, I understand. Well, at least, well, at least this for manufacturability, at least 308 and 65 share the same casing. Okay. It may be 
spooky season, but you don't want to scare people with your scraggly beard. Today, we are brought to you by Manscaped.com. Who has taken a step from the ball of wieners to bring your face the cleanest shave it has ever seen, brother? So this season, there's no toil or trouble. It's just Manscaped. Manscaped's all-new handyman is the best way to get rid of that stubble. Featuring compact design and skin-safe technology. It was designed to give you a smooth finish without traditional technology disadvantages. Get the sweetest treat this season by going to manscaped.com and using code UNSUB to save 20% and free shipping. And for my wolf man out there, there's the Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro Kit. It has everything to tame your mane. Ding! That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com using code UNSUB. For a look sweet as candy, get yourself a handyman from manscaped.com. So, but yeah, but like, I don't know. And then, then, actually. then the, the dude with yeah. the grenade launcher and the medic and everybody else can just have an M4 with whatever, which is normal. And then you have the one dude that's the infantry guy trained for the longer range SDM. badass weapon. You have the SDM know, that's like, here's I'm a this, stupid this, asshole. This, I don't know this. anything. Oh, your, your, video, your video about the, the Starship Troopers gun blew my mind. Where it's, the military went, so through, stupid, went through billions of dollars. And they're like, why don't we just throw a better optic on yeah. the platform yeah. we and already have? If you don't know this story, it's one of my favorite. How much money was spent? It's no different than the ACUs and how much money was spent on the fucking pattern to fight on the moon or your grandma's couch. Yeah, it was like, it I was love like, that fucking picture. Dude. Like on paper, what they disclosed, it was like three hundred million dollars because they were trying to find the new combat rifle. Because they wanted a new con. Their America wasn't at war, and we're like, we're gonna, f- we're gonna fucking build alien guns to fight aliens. Basically, is what they said. They're like, we need a new combat rifle. We want it to be two hundred percent more accurate than the M sixteen, which is what they had at the time. And the fucking gun manufacturers are like, cool, what's the budget? And they're like, fucking whatever. And everybody <laughs> fun, proceeded homie. to lose their <laughs> fucking Good luck, mind. have fun. SIG created the fucking, what is that? Or uh, sorry, HK created the, what is G11. The, the, yeah, the Kraut Space Magic gun. Have you yeah. seen that fucking piece of shit? <laughs> the G11? Oh my God. Bro, you, it, first, of all, first of all, on the inside. It, it matches Digicam. Uh, it's, it's literally four pixels. This entire gun is four pixels with a scope. And it, you open it up and a fucking grandfather clock slides out. And my comment section, I didn't bother to like fact check it. I just assume it's true. But my comment section was like, Smart. actually, your joke about the grandfather clock is pretty close because they did actually hire two walk watchmakers to help design the mechanism. <laughs> and I was like, it doesn't that, surprise oh, me. Germany <laughs> overdosed on German for the G11. That was it, the most German engineered bullshit I've ever seen in my fucking life. Here's the life. thing. We made a gun without a casing. G- G- or a Van bullet without up, a casing. G- G-Van put up just the... Gra- it opened up because the mechanics of the interior... No like, infantryman. Very no clear. No fucking like, infantryman is going to disassemble this in combat and be like, Hey, Big Star, I, know I don't know happening. what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Actually, I opened my gun up and it fell apart. Been building guns for like... <laughs> <laughs> Ten plus years now, designed some shit. You've seen like it, right? you, oh, yeah. I, I couldn't yeah. tell you how that fucking works. Like the, just looking at it, I'm like, oh, dude, above my Perry grade. So that's the watch. That's the watch reason shit. for this one, why it was going to be more accurate than the M16, was that it had three round burst, and that three round burst was so fast that it would fire three bullets before the recoil from the first bullet could be felt from the by the operator, and Which, that's why it was going to be more accurate. Russia moment, <laughs> still kind of cool. Russia beat. Uh, Germany to that. Did they? What, yeah. With the AN ninety four. They had hyperburst. Oh, really? hyperburst. Oh, yeah, hyperburst on shot. the AN ninety four. It was uh, two rounds before the first round felt recoil. That's cool. And uh, it almost Kobe. worked. <laughs> yeah, it worked. It worked stupid. really well when it worked. But it was <laughs> so like rough. notoriously like it it was easy to jam up and whatnot. So it's the like hi- the AK- hyperburst is crazy because it was two rounds literally from even at hundred yards. They like almost touch it was extremely so they accurate. Base, so it like the the front half of the gun essentially i'm gonna butcher how this fucking system works by the way uh it's almost like on a carriage inside its own it's inside itself is the rifle so like as it's ejecting the first one it's like pushing the round from the magazine back into, forward. The, into the chamber as it's ejecting the first and firing before the carriage hits the back 
Was that built by Biblel Blashmapov? It was not. It was built by the. It was uh, God. It was the something project. It was the, like a Russian arms contract or some shit like that. But they have Russian arms designers. It's a crazy mechanism because it is the. Um, it's a watch inside. It's like doing the counter actuating it was, system yeah, at kind the of same a counter, time of that one was pulleys. The N ninety four, I believe, was pulleys. Uh, the AK one hundred and seven was both. Uh, were the, so both created at the same time. Used the same platform. For the hyper fire? No, not quite. No. Oh, really? So, no, the oh, AN94 shit. was two round hyperburst, and then the rest was just full auto. Mm -hmm. The AK107 was a concept. Spoiler alert, didn't fucking work, doesn't fucking work. I'm thinking of doing a video on it uh, where basically you had two pistons going back and forth that would counterbalance the recoil and they would hit in the middle. Oh, that's interesting. And it's it, like the reason it worked, and people didn't realize it at the time, is because it's heavier. Science. It's Is five it? five six five four five. It's heavier. It's front heavier, and they had a good muzzle brake. These on forty it. pound gun do no recoil. <laughs> it's like Even people pounds? that I know in Russia or people I know in Europe who have like the SR one. You have to have actually. One. Okay. Uh, Is like that the, the civilian yeah, version? The Is that the one that um the the Vickers made the the video that got millions and millions of views on? Yeah. The counterweight system yeah. thing. I don't want to bring anything up. Is he in trouble right now? Yeah, this part might have to get edited out. No, no, that's no, no I, this I, is I perfectly cool. Yeah, yeah. This, that, I think this is it depends on what you're about to ask. I, but yeah. I like no. I literally just, I read a tweet about him getting in trouble for something. I don't know what it was, but he I just knew pled you guilty. Guys I think it was a plea deal. Okay. Yeah, he just pled guilty oh, to God, a bunch of shit. He had a basement full of unregistered machine guns, which based, but yeah, he he pled guilty to some shit. He's looking at like 25 years. That's that's the thing. Damn. it's like drinking a cold brew. Like it doesn't it's taste really like good. beer. It just it's, it's super good. And have you good. have you had this in Ireland yet? No. Why would I go to Ireland? Eli, can I, I don't know. I, I had a layover in <laughs> Ireland. I scraped you had a layover in Ireland. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't like to leave America. <laughs> I, I, I've, only, I've only been outside the United States one time. It was to go to England for some gaming conference, and on the way back we had a layover go. in Dublin, <laughs> and I drank a Guinness in Dublin. And it, I was, just, it was quite wonderful. It was six in the morning. It's some, <laughs> well, that's actually that's, not bad. That's Cody ish. Oh, like well, no, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, joking. when you're in an airport, when you're in Time an airport, doesn't it doesn't matter. You it's can, like Vegas. Yeah. It's like Again, Vegas. it was like that meme. It's the like, don't get drunk in an airport at 10 o'clock. Airport, hey, you, you do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> and the airport screaming, like, hey, hey, see, live, live. <laughs> Nick looks like a dude that's never been out of the country. No, nope, don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Not leave that. Random attack on Nick's success. No, fuck it. I, I'll, I'll own it. Right. No, I'll own it. I was like, this I'm dude never looks leaving like... ever. I have zero reasons. <laughs> Like this dude looks like he. I'm never not gonna lived. die. Go up and meet all my ancestors. Be like, do you know the shit I went through to get away from people? And you just decided to go back for funsies? No, absolutely not. <laughs> dude, you want to go? You left that fucking there was, continent there was fucking, for a reason. I had, I, had to, I had to harness the power of the fucking wind to push my stupid wooden boat across the ocean. They had to get a covered wagon and a fucking ox, so just so you could dick off and go back for fun. No. <laughs> Just so you can lose your... This new generation is so ungrateful. That's why I live in Iowa, out of respect. <laughs> <laughs> okay? You, you don't want to lose your entire family on the Oregon Trail? Like... Bro, no, fuck it. Do you, let me break down human evolution. <laughs> nobody <laughs> has, <laughs> what's up, nobody what's has replied to that question in, the hu in human what's history it? with, fuck it. <laughs> let me, once upon a time, okay, you my ancestors on. were living in Europe somewhere, and they're like, man... Sure, are a lot of motherfuckers around here. I should leave, and then they left to the East Coast, and they eventually. I think there was a little more to eventually, it. Eventually, a bunch of people showed up at the East Coast. They're like, "I'm gonna fucking leave again," and then they moved all the way to California. That's where I was born. In the beginning, I think there was some dude nailed some words to a church door. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, there was that like there thing. was like witches yeah. and, and not black, witch dude. trials yeah. and all kinds of shit. And then uh, like some dude all the way on the <laughs> West Coast <laughs> was like, "Man, the other one." I found, I found yeah. gold, and then all the other people moved all the way to the West Coast. He's like, man, there's way too many motherfuckers here now, but we found all the land on Earth. Remember that one chunk in the middle where it was cold, where nobody wanted to fucking live? Let's go back there, and that's why I live in Iowa. It's the peak of human evolution. I just want people to leave me the fuck alone. That's, that's a t-shirt right there. The peak of human evolution is Iowa. Iowa. It's, like, <laughs> it's all Iowa. No. Always has been. <laughs> I don't if you build that. it, they will come. Don't fucking build it. <laughs> No, it's Iowa. It's far worse. It's okay. I was laying into him about the state of Minnesota in the last podcast. It's fine. Yeah, I don't think I've ever... Oh, here we go. Oh, God, he's come up with a I'm comeback. Gonna, gonna go Are you going to argue about Minnesota and Iowa again? Oh, God, are we? Jesus. I don't know. Are we? Let's do it. 
<laughs> Give me your best takes on Iowa. Give me my best takes on Iowa? Yeah. It's the best. What about it? I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. I mean, what do you what? have? What do you have that makes huh? it the best? You have you a the, primary. The Iowa caucuses. Everybody's yeah. like, holy fuck, we're right. electing somebody. Let's but see then, what the Iowa yeah, But then They're literally, smart. it's. I think that's what we just handed down to Iowa. They're like, ah, they don't really have fuck all else. So I actually like Iowa, this. but like, it's by design. The entire state I is d- a cornfield. I don't want anything, and I'm not going to use this platform to make Iowa sound good because I don't want you to live where I live. Leave I me don't alone. I want to. Like, if you're a fan, that's great. I love you. Say hi to me if you ever see me in person. Like, we'll take a picture. We'll hug. It'll be fantastic. But also, yeah, anybody that's not my fan can fuck off. Like, leave me alone. But you're in, you're in, <laughs> I'm what? your fan. You're in, I know. Uh, you can come. You're in Mason City? Yeah. Is that near Cedar, Cedar Rapids? No, it's like three hours north. I'm like 30 minutes from the Minnesota border. I said, I, I'll tell the city. Okay. Not, well, I right, won't right. tell the... Oh, well, yeah. Okay. To be I'm fair. I'm not giving my address. Dude, I don't know how many people live in that city in fucking Iowa. It could be like 30 fucking people. No, it's like, I think like 40,000. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. The metro area of San Antonio is 3.8 million people. Yeah. The state of Iowa is 3 million. Yeah. You see why I enjoy it so much. Actually, yeah. The, like, I'm in traffic here. I get super pissed. There's no traffic in Iowa. After this, we're all going to Wyoming. No, I don't think why? we are. We're gonna take over. I was just there. Dude, I, I had to. Iowa's, I had to go to Wyoming to make sure it existed. Iowa's where it's at. They, you heard it here first. See? <laughs> I, I, I mean, no, it's not. <laughs> Iowa sucks. Don't go there, ever. Uh, Iowa's rad. Or excuse me, uh, Iowa's rad. I guess I don't know. No, uh, Texas is rad. Unless you're from California, in which case you can get fucked. That's too late. Don't There's so here. many Californians already coming here. I know. I'm pretty I, sure they're building a freeway just for one-way traffic from California that's moving I was here. like, dude, even if you don't agree with Texas, the, the Texas abortion bill, you could at least... No. You could at least say that it, it's stopping no. the flow of Californians. No, stop it. <laughs> We're going to fucking... California's too expensive, so I'm going to move to Texas and vote the same exact way all the time. <laughs> That, well, that won't make the same problems because fucking science. That's why. It's like that one sheriff that was on Joe Rogan. He was just like, just remember, you're a refugee, not a missionary. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love it. It's, I, seriously, that is the best take I've ever heard on that. Wow. That's a, All right. that's a solid take. Like, some of my shop boys are from California, and they're, they're from like one of the more based like, places in California. But they're like, at? they come to Texas and they're trying to rent a place. They're North just like, of Redding. So where are you? Uh, <laughs> this is Cody's. This is vodka. Where are you? Where are you, <laughs> uh, you from? They're just like California. It's like, well, no, 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 no. We're the good ones. We're the good ones. We're the gun guys. It's a, uh. California is funny because if you get north of Redding, it's nothing but cowboy hats and people that desperately wish they could own guns. <laughs> I come back and you guys are talking about Schmorshans over here, dude. Yeah. So what? Schmorshans? Schmadoff Schmittler? <laughs> what? what else were we going to talk about? <laughs> well, he's the one fucking show. reading Mein Kampf and playing League of Legends. <laughs> First of all. First of all. he listens to. He's it's just called, like, time to get in the zone. It's called spawn camping. All right. You guys don't want to talk about it. You do Brew Crane in Russia right now. Bees. Bleshnikov. Bro. This is all we talking about right now. <laughs> well, all I'm saying about Badoff Bittler. <laughs> there, there were four ovens. <laughs> we are like three white claws from Cody talking about wooden doors. <laughs> All right. Maybe. Welcome back to Unsubscribe. I'm more racist now. I miss this so much. G Man, they can fly away. <laughs> All right. All I'm saying is maybe, maybe it happened, but 10 million fireflies? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nick, Nick's already like I'm not a host anymore. <laughs> oh no, I'm here for it. Bye, Woody. <laughs> I can't wait to have that conversation. Like I, yeah. I didn't say it. I sat next to a guy that did. Mar- <laughs> March fifth. It's the. Then you remember this is the day you almost had a based congressman. <laughs> Hard cut to the next episode. So, guys, the last host didn't work out. Uh, we're back to the one song again. <laughs> Dan, Danny Morse Dan, Danny. like, ah! <laughs> Danny's just beating his fucking head <laughs> against the table. Damn it, Eli. <laughs>
I'm like, I'm sorry. See how it is? Okay, Eli, which one is it this fucking time? We're just going to keep it Eli for a while. <laughs> <laughs> just Eli. I don't know what everyone's going to say anymore. I don't know. I'm so sorry, Danny Morse now. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we have the range day coming up. Uh, Wait, yes. the Guinness still have the tampons in them? What? They do. No, the cans. no that's only the cans. Fun oh, okay. fact, science, history fact time, right? Nitrogen cartridge. All right. Uh, I think it's 1999. There's a picture of the a year is, The year is 1999. Year is 1999. There's one invention on Earth that gets declared the invention of the year. The Mark 1990. Second place for invention of the year in 1999 is Why the internet for the second best invention. Guess. Hold on. Just give a pause really quick. G-Van, at that exact moment, just replay what they did in sync unbeknownst to them. That's fucking weird. You both went like this, looked at each other, and then looked at it, and we're like... Well, he pointed it out. Yeah, we're trying know, to find the tampons. but then you both dude. looked, and you both put it down simultaneously. Oh. Well, like that, you fucking we weird. Hang out. <laughs> like, he like, we like, hang out a lot. You just did it again. Stop. <laughs> you fucking weirdo. <laughs> I'm like, wait, hold the fuck on. Okay, go on. Sorry, Mark 1919. No, the fuck, the runner up no, for invention of the year. The, the, the runner up for invention <laughs> Mark, of the year in 1999 was the internet. Guess what the invention of the year was? That's, and and when? That, Blink 182. That, that stupid nitrogen ball in the cans of Guinness. You're shitting me. That beat out the internet for invention of the year. Wait, the internet by, was 1990? By whose standards? 1999. Oh, God. Okay. I was so off on. I was like. I might have said 1919. I'm drunk. Uh, okay. <laughs> I said 99. I, 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 I thought side. I said 99, but whatever. G Van just played back. Buffering. Just to point out which one's stupid. No. 1999. <laughs> Who Take said that was can. more important than the internet? Like, like whose standards all said the that people shit? that enjoyed beer and didn't understand uh, the internet the yet? chairman yeah. of actually the chairman of all the of federal fucking reserve con- uh who was it i can't remember his name. <laughs> it was five i don't know no it was uh the, it was the no greenspan Krug- oh sorry it was paul krugman yeah, yeah, yeah. He Wait. was he was the one who said that the uh, the I don't know if he was chairman of the Fed. The internet's a fad. But he was like the internet will uh, have no greater impact on society and the economy than the fax machine. Wrong. What? Wow. Hey, Someone was this, a little this, off dude, on this. Dude, this sounds like fucking uh, Congress talking to Zuckerberg right now. They're <laughs> like, no, these things in these bottles in the beers is great, but what what did, what's about the internet, it's the most Mr. Zuckerberg? Painful thing on the planet. The internet is. It's not. Can your ass connect to the Wi Fi in in my house? (laughs) If that's if that's what you're using to connect to the fucking internet, yeah. I don't know. (laughs) That's not on us, bro. That's your wife. (laughs) It's like that's your internet provider. Not on us. I did not know about that. But we got range day coming up. Range day is coming up. Yeah. Early December. Don't want to say the date publicly, but yeah. Yeah. We got a bunch of creators coming out. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, You haven't announced it on Twitter yet? No, well, we We're, never announced publicly, publicly yeah. when or where. Oh, uh, probably a March result. of something. Hollywood's already month. shut down. We don't need a third of YouTube disappearing. <laughs> oh my God! Dude, <laughs> have, you, have you seen how bad everything's gotten since the writer strike? They were writing shit in the first place. Now it's even fucking worse, man. Yeah, it's one of those like I, uh, like oh, well, they're getting underpaid. It's like, have, have you seen the shit that they've written? Yeah, the past couple of years, what they've written. They should get charged for that. <laughs> Jake, just give a nod. Do you agree or disagree? There you yeah. go. <laughs> Jake, what, Jake knows Hollywood. He gets to see it. I've experienced it and watched it and worked in it. M- fucking lot of trash writers out there. You don't, it's you don't get like paid because you suck at your job. It's, it's also like the free Hard hand of take. The, the, the invisible <laughs> hand of the market, too, where it's like, oh, wow, there's a lot of people who want to do it. Weird. It's like you can pay them less because there's a lot of people who want to take that fucking place. If you hey. want to know how many big... That doesn't you, sound very fair. Hey, you're, you're about to say all the right, same thing. Fucking communist. Yeah, exactly. I, well, mine is, it's like, if you want to see the disparity between good writers and then fucking everyone else that's on strike right now, look at the good YouTubers. Yeah. Yep, that's what I was saying. And then how many, how many, you, how many... YouTubers have broken a hundred million. You have a handful. How like, many YouTubers? Uh, hundred million. How many like, YouTubers sorry, have writers? Million. Actually, more than you think. It's like a thousand. Well, that's what yeah, I'm saying. It's, it's still a thousand. Yeah. So, out of a thousand, how many YouTube accounts are there, though? Yeah, yeah. hundreds it's, of millions. Adding on to what you're saying, they're fucking scared of us, dude. They are fucking scared of what an individual can do and how well they can write. And What's like, cra- and like, what someone like all of, like all of us just sitting in front of a fucking camera can do—they're fucking terrified of that. That's legit. 
Well, yeah, I mean, you get, uh, you have your different style of conduct. Like, even Jake over there gets, oh, we talked about it on the drive here. It is the idea oh, 40, of 40,000, 40,000 channels. 40,000 channels. That actually channels, shocks me. But that that's high. still, but even then, how many channels in general are on YouTube? You're looking at 900 million? No, over a billion. You have a, probably a billion accounts on YouTube, and then content creators, you're looking yeah. at at least 400 million. 300 million, we'll round down to 100 million. And also, a lot of a big percentage of those people that are over a million are not currently active. And if they are active, they're not getting the kind of views we are. No. So you're looking at that as a statistic or a number. I probably say actual fact, like three or four thousand relevant ones. Yeah. So take that and then apply that to the writers. You have so many bad writers that are like, I deserve the same as these ones. It's saying, it's like, hey, random YouTuber, you deserve as much as big time YouTuber that has refined their craft. Even going into, I break it down as something as simple as this, a thumbnail and title. Yes, that sounds stupid as shit. And you're like, I don't fucking, most of you probably don't know this. The, that is the most important part of a video. The, it like, sounds stupid, but not to a YouTuber. Not, no. oh, excuse me, it sounds stupid, but not to a good YouTuber. That is the most important part of a video is thumbnail and title. Mr. Beast breaks into this. He was like, hey, like I, I'm breaking down to Mr. Beast goes into like every three to five seconds. I have to have something happening in a video. That's where I learned all this originally. Yeah. When I, when I yeah. worked with him back in like, oh, God, was it like 2019? Yeah. 2018? And, then, and then we met him at Vid Summit and sat and talked about the same thing. It's, it's called retention beats. You have to keep your audience there every every three to five seconds, or you're gonna fucking lose them. So all the work I did for Mr. Beast back in the day was completely free. Like I didn't like it was like I was, at most it was like a shout out at the end, which I think got edited out, but I didn't care. Uh, I really I you I didn't make I a tweet learned. about it. But, oh, I, I didn't make a tweet about it <laughs> and and talk about my victimhood. I didn't give a fuck. And like I, I learned I I was I was there to absorb information because man, just even listening to the way those guys talk about YouTube content creation, like you absorb so much, you learn so much. And, uh, you got for, pay, you got paid in experience. Yes, hundred percent. Yeah. One of the keynotes right now. If you are thinking about this path, like write these fucking things down. This is something most people like, it doesn't matter. It <clears throat> fucking matters. It matters so that much. That last five five minutes is what people would pay a lot of money. So Here. yeah, Brand Brandon and I went to Vid Summit a couple years ago, which is where they they bring out creators and they have people come up on stage and they talk about it, like Mr. Beast, blah, blah, blah. The best part of Vid Summit, like we got bored, so we didn't want to be up there and watch the people talk. The a lot best of, well, a lot of the people that were talking, no offense to you if you're watching this, a lot of the people talking had fewer subs than we did. Yeah. So we're it's like, we're, you're not, we're not going to listen to you about how to succeed. You th believe you're at 30 K subs. Yeah. Like it's just not interesting. The best part of it is we were sitting by the pool and Jimmy comes up and we just started just Jimmy? shit talking with him. Mr. Beast. Uh, that Mr. Beast guy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like I learned more in that five minute conversation. Yo, Big Jay comes up. Who's Jay? Oh, Jesus Christ! Sorry. Just yeah, don't don't worry about that. <laughs> Bimmy. It was you it was not uh, just Bimmy. fucking compare uh, Mr. Beast to Jesus <laughs> no, Christ. No, not that. Not that. Was a completely <laughs> separate, relevant timelines. <laughs> internet internet worship has gone too far. <laughs> oh no. No, I don't know. If all these writers right. are so fucking smart, why don't they start YouTube channels? Because they won't succeed. But yep. literally, take like these notes where it is extremely important. It is. Long form. Uh, when when Fat Electrician came down the first time, he had what thirty thousand subs on YouTube, give or take. No, I had like a hundred, but at yeah. that really the yeah, first I had time, hundred the first time I came you down had here. That yeah. silver play button. Oh, yeah, okay. I had a silver play button. Maybe. But it was still really? like, yeah, because huh. I, 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 I knew you were huge on TikTok. I didn't know if you had broken out on YouTube. Yeah, we, we had to bully YouTube you into doing fucking pretty good. Yeah, form. yeah. Because yeah. everyone's thing here, and Nick, what is the best thing is the guys that come out. This is. Nick, this is a fat electrician, one punch dad, a fucking habitual line crosser when they come out here, just naming a few. They get motivated to do long form. And then Nick's for Nick, how many views does your first long form piece of content uh, have right know. now? One point two, you piece of shit. Because once I went to today. long form, I never stopped. <laughs> so I'll just I'll just go back. Uh starting with my first long form for, video for, those who, for views. For those who don't know, long form is like when we're talking about like not sure, it's not these ten minutes or longer. Dance. Yeah, I, no, yeah eight, like eight, minute. eight minutes or longer. Eight minutes yeah. or longer. Yeah. Yeah. Not TikToks. So eight is when, when you get the short second, form. When I, eight is when you get the second ad, and twelve, I think, is when you get. When the I third. first yeah. broke eight minutes and never went back, uh, the views go one point two million, one point two million, one point two million, two point three million, 
800,000, 1. 1. 1.3, 2. 2.9, 700, 800, 1, half, it, 8, <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. That's so weird. It's surprising. weird how you listen to people that have succeeded and then you succeed too. Yeah, I know. It's wild. But, and that's the thing, people, <laughs> like, you don't fucking reinvent the goddamn wheel. It is not a hard concept. It, I mean, still experiment. It. Yeah, experiment. Still experiment with stuff. We, and Concept does that with, like, stories, yeah. militaries. Like, hey, We got what some did, shit in the pipeline that is gonna... We're experimenting with it. We'll see how it works. And that is the point of content. It's like, hey, this works. Got it. Let's fucking... Let's, let's experiment with these things, see if they work, and bring it into our own workflow. Also, simplicity, my favorite thing is Jake... Corridor Digital, he gets to watch you guys and be like, fuck you because <laughs> they spend months on one piece of content, and Cody's like, oh, someone got shot. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Jonah here. <laughs> so, uh, cop killed a minority. Uh, let's do <laughs> For the... F- 50th time this month. <laughs> they were in the right, they were on the wrong. I'm going to break it down for you. Here we Across are. Across Wisconsin. <laughs> that's, like, that's like why I feel our, like we, we do the creator range days. We bring people out. Um, it's it's not just so they can shoot machine guns. Of course, we want everyone to experience the Second Amendment and how wonderful it is. But it's the networking that comes from it. Every single time we get around other creators, we learn something new. Just a little yeah. tidbit of information that we put into our content that just just boosts Because we it. all do things just a little bit different. Yeah. And so when we get together and compare notes, because like what people don't understand, YouTube doesn't exactly just tell us how this shit works. We have to figure it it's out. Because they don't know either. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> we we literally, it's just like it's a conglomerate of people though, like getting together, like, hey, this is my experience, this is my experience, and from that you can kind of aggregate. How, how to move going forward. So like we're all we're all just proof that like there's there's enough room under the sun for everybody as, as that sounds like we we'll all like get together and help each other because we're all in the same fight. Like we're all just trying to do the same thing. And it matters I, like all those little fucking things make a huge difference on the piece of content. You're like, oh, this at my now this video is performing phenomenally because I listened to X, Y, Z. Cool. Like when we did. I mean, even for unsub, a majority of the time, titles or anything, I kick it to the guys. I'm like, hey, which is the best title? Or let's come up with something to make this the best title. Like every fourth video you text it to me, you're like, what do you think about title for this? Yeah. Like, yeah, the, like, ma- yeah. the majority of our week is spent thinking about thumbnails and titles with each other. And we, really, have a, we have a big yeah. group and we're like, what do you think about this thumbnail? No, there should be an outline here. No, that should be enlarged. No. I, Brandon kicked autism test. He was like, just name it the autism test. And I was like... I got the I got the thumbnail. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I, I, I like because you sent brand. me like you sent me like six different title ideas. I was just like just the autism test. I was like, oh, it's really good. I got the thumbnail. And I Which AJ it. Wilkerson was so cool. He was Dude, fucking awesome. One of the best homies in the world. And I kicked you the title. I kicked everyone the uh, the thumbnail, and they're like. Yeah. Brandon's was like, I actually love that thumbnail so much. A zero <laughs> critiques. I was like, yes. <laughs> That. And then Dave, uh, Salty Dave, old Dave Reardon, uh, Time for Pie. That's not who I thought you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I kicked him it, and he like kicked it back. He was like, like this. I was like, change, put font up, go like this, and put a train in the background. Literally what I said. I sent Did him a picture of the train. Did you do that while you said it? Yeah, I was like, put a train in the Didn't background. Do it. <laughs> put a train in put the background. Put a tall building. <laughs> <laughs> and he kicked in. He's like, that? Sent it to you guys. You're like, it's beautiful. I was like, oh, okay, we're good to go. Dude, you, you literally have one second. One second to catch people's attention with a thumbnail. Yeah. It's one. What people don't understand is like, the, like obviously the content is important. But before they click on the content, before they have no idea. Like, you could be the nicest person, most charismatic person in the fucking universe. Before they ever know that, they have to click on a title or a thumbnail. You have two opportunities to present information about your video to the audience. And if you can't like get them on a title thumbnail, you're fucked. This fucking and Jake is like, hallelujah. Dude, that's this is so true. You guys do not know how much information. This is, uh, th- here is your fucking this master is class. This is a master class and you're getting it for you know free. What, right you know what the most <laughs> sought after job for high school kids is? YouTubers. YouTubers. Yeah. yeah. I promise you, if your kid so is obsessed with being a YouTuber or whatever, get your kid doing video editing. Yes. And then try to get your kid to work for a YouTuber and that YouTuber will teach him everything under the sun for free. Yeah. 100% no, of the time. That's, like that's, that's the, the best, best advice. advice the best thing you could fucking do out of high school 
is Breach. work for a YouTuber for free. I pay my video editor. Also, a if shit anybody ton of would money. like to work for me for free, no, I'm not. <laughs> but I actually need a vlog editor. So if any of you, oh, you out go. there want to, oh, but like, dude, your inbox so like is best fucked now. <laughs> best <laughs> example, <laughs> like, yo, dog, what's up? I know this. Shit. The best example. So like off the top of my head, Nico Ortiz, he did uh, his brutally honest podcast with uh, with his personal assistant, and his personal assistant, who he pays money enough to apparently get by and live whatever, but he also taught her how to do social media. And she has like 800,000 subscribers on Instagram doing her own yoga thing. And like, yeah. she has her own separate job, separate from working for him too. And like, he just teaches her everything for free. Cause I don't Nico's know. Nico's autistic on that. There's I room, love Nico. There's room that. for I really everybody. Like talking to Nico Is this just us trying to get free stuff. labor right now? I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but <laughs> work for YouTubers for free, motherfuckers. <laughs> Come work. It's like the Sean Strick. <laughs> Come like, and work. <laughs> C U M W O R K. <laughs> Come work. Do the cum Come work. work. That's 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 the oh, new God. version. Right. Help that's wanted. Oh, Instead of help wanted, it's come work. Back in the day, it was a bunker brandy. Now it's a computer chair where you edit our videos for free. <laughs> it's the fucking human uh, crypto mining. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's a whole bunch of people upstairs. Jake's like, stop it. Why are people upstairs now? <laughs> oh, no. They're there are now. editors, Jake. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> 20 editors. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think this is an OSHA violation, but it should be. <laughs> if OSHA it, hasn't figured out a decentralized workforce yet, quick. <laughs> Make a billion dollars. <laughs> 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 Christ oh, alive. <laughs> but if you want to get ahead, like this is I I just wish people people would actually listen to it. It's like listen to the listen to the people know what the fuck they're, they're doing that they have the numbers and then we'll give out the they'll information. Never do it. I, I like what Gary V used to say about it, because he's he like obviously like fell off the planet because you know he didn't follow a lot of his own advice. But he, he said Is oh, he the knowledge guy? No, no he's like books. he's like one of the <laughs> OG he wasn't entrepreneur that guy, but, guys. But he I, I watched Gary a lot was, of his shit early on, but he, he, he would good. just say like you know, I, I don't mind giving you all of my advice and basically how I run my businesses and how I run my social media because I know you'll never take it. Yep. 100%. And it's true. Yeah. It, 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 it's fucking crazy. You have like right now, there is three individuals that are crushing life at this and you're like, eh, I don't know. They three? might not. Three. Well, I still Four. think I have a shitty podcast. <laughs> now we all have a shitty podcast yeah. together. We all have. Welcome. <laughs> all for one. Subscribe. And <laughs> All for one and one for come. <laughs> Cheers to uh, that. Nick, get your fucking drink. drink up, god uh, damn it. <laughs> Pull drink. from it. Pull oh. from it. Oh. Do we just do a shot right now? What are we god doing? Damn a shot it. What shot do we do? Do we we're do rum or whiskey? Oh, we'll just pass, pass it, it down, down the fucking line. All right. Mm. Mm. Liquor. Uh, Hardly uh, even know. <laughs> mm. I Ubered here. <laughs> <laughs> My house is walking distance. I'm Ubering oh. back. <laughs> but it is. It's crazy. Real, I need a drink. Yo, let's go make one real quick. Break. Break. We have to do rum. Again, right, so earlier, if, 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 if G Van, kill that break. Yeah, kill that. <laughs> don't, don't make that look, break. Look, look, I, I, it's just the real. The real is here. Let's do a little bit it, of a. If, if, you want a happy? If you, uh, I'll, if you I'll guys are, a drink if you guys are actually interested in making Jay, a get away from the mic. You're like this. You're deep throating. Sorry, it's just fucking. Just a little. Oh, can you get your teeth over it? Oh, you can. Oh, you can. I can't. It's no, my I can't. Slavic jaw. I can't uh, get my teeth over it. No, Ow. but but no, for real. Like I, I just want to point out, like <laughs> what 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 they're all joking about is actually legit. If you if you actually want to do the the damn thing and you want to make a living off of it, then there are literally. Jake, are you a little drunky? Yeah, of course. Jake, I am. Okay. Jake looks no, no, like he no, wants me, to yell you about follow, you, no, I'm like, right you follow you, you, you look like you no, want to no, yell no. at me and Eli. No, no. Like, 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 like. <laughs> I had to yell you at Donut about buying a Lamborghini <laughs> earlier because our bonds were better than Yeah, he's yelling at me about supercars. It's fine. Over here. <laughs> look, Jake, if you want to do the damn thing, what do we do? Look, look, no, it's just like it, it, there's there's a path. And if you follow, if you follow, you read in between the lines, you follow, like every, 
Everybody on YouTube that I've ever met that's been successful at it has always been willing to offer how they did it. Yeah. And, Actually, and yes. That, for free. For free. For, for fucking free. If you're paying for a course, you're doing it wrong. It, yes. Absolutely. I don't need you to read between the lines. I just need you to fucking listen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And 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 and, that's, and, and, that's, and, and that's it. Don't hurt me. Nick. Fucking, <laughs> you you will learn more. You will learn more from the Joe Rogan Mr. Beast episode yes. than you yes. ever will from any course yes, ever. Yes. Absolutely. And and there's there's people like us that are honestly on the platform a dime a dozen. But when it comes to Ow. actually no, Ow, but bye like, bye. like but when it comes to actually like looking into it and doing it yourself and trying it yourself, there's a wealth of knowledge there that should not be taken for granted. And we're giving it out for free because the way that the platform exists allows because us to make a living without having to sell it, which is a phenomenal thing. Because we're fucking lonely. <laughs> Imagine climbing a mountain by yourself and yelling down, hey, here's how to get up here. It's fucking awesome. And everybody's like, I could never pull it off by myself. But you have to try. Or they're like, you have yeah, to go. Or they're thing. like, like, yeah, I could do that. And then they just stay there. Yeah. I'll, I'll teach you how to get here for free just because I want somebody to go to brunch with every day. You, you, you have to, you, you have well, to try. I'm, 100% I'm reason, catching some, don't catching some that. strays over here. But, uh. And so all I'm saying Ow. is that the, last 15 <laughs> minutes, the last 15 minutes that these guys have just sort of espoused yeah. is free knowledge that's worth $100,000. So thank you. I love you. Jake! Well, I love Jake that this is going to be one of the most watched podcast I know. that we have Everyone's very about. soon. <laughs> Don't fight. And it's going to be you for free. You want to make me one? And it's for free. What's up? You want to make me one of your Coke Zero and whatever the fuck? You want yeah. rum or do you want rum or whiskey? No, I, want, I want Brandon to make it. Let's see what happens. Ooh, are, nice. you sure? are you sure? Say fuck. Say when. Uh, say when, motherfucker. Uh, say when. When. I'll be your huckleberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I know. I really want to go back and watch it now. I hadn't seen it before like three years ago. What the it fuck changed is my wrong life. with you? I've, I've seen it. Is. I've Okay. This is good ass yeah, rum. Three years ago, that, though. Yeah. It's good ass fucking rum. That's it's it's weird watching people not take all the there's fucking every piece of information you need for free out out there from editing to podcasting to every piece of life. Just go search it and you will you will experience it. Watching even reading the podcasting Reddit, I've never like three days ago, I, I stumbled upon Red, oh, no. podcast Reddit, and it was the first time I was like, oh, this is wrong. People, if you have fucking four podcasts and not one is taking off, reevaluate what you're fucking also, doing. Also, don't have Combine four podcasts. Them. Yeah, don't have four fucking podcasts. And also, secondly, don't give people advice until you've already succeeded. There's like like really and, and that's that feels really like simple advice, but you'd be surprised. There's people like I have 800 podcasts. You click on it, there's like 10 views. It's like, hey, let's refine what you're doing yeah. and like simplify it. Also, to not enough people. one message, one <laughs> fucking message that works. You don't need a billion messages. This also when this bothers the fuck out of me. A lot of people don't ask, why would anybody watch this? That is a big fuck like. That sounds Question super fucking one. simple. Yeah, it's like, all right, are you educational? No. Are you entertaining? No. Are you funny? No. Hey, why the <laughs> fuck would I watch that? <laughs> and you're like, Jake is like, yes, yes. Am I, am I <laughs> learning a goddamn thing? Either be one no. of the three or be everyone at this table for all, like, or some combination yeah. of them. Like, for the love <laughs> of God, if you're on TikTok and somebody's telling you how to make content and go viral and do this for a living, before you take that advice, click on their profile and see how many people actually give a fuck what they say. Yeah, first off, uh, <laughs> fucking, I'm just going to go out there and say TikTok is fake views. It doesn't matter. Potato That's chips? also true. It's yeah. potato chips. It, it is very simplistic. What you want to do, this is all aspects of life. Listen to somebody that's like big in their fucking... At what their craft is. If they are good at their craft, you will know. Other people will let you know they're good at their craft. Listen to them. And then find the next person that is better at that craft. This is why, like, these are my guys. They are these are my best friends. They are younger than me, but still, Aww. at the end of the day, I'm going to <laughs> listen to them on what they are great at. You know what they're fucking great at? Same for fucking Jake over here. Thumbnails, YouTube, content, they know what they're doing. And each one has something specific they're bringing. Jake, Corridor, they have dialed in long-form content or uh, like 10 to 20-minute 
content at a, a um, higher end refined it to a craft and now I can't they're like wait hey. to see the retention dip on this episode as soon as we start preaching them like youtube right. they're like yeah. and then they'll hear money and they're for like, the love of god go don't let your kid don't let your kids take a social media class at college whatever you do don't pay for that yeah. what you guys haven't realized either is we've been doing retention beats this entire time one conversation about, about guns <laughs> drops off, and we jump up into that was a literally. different conversation. What I just did to Eli now was a retention beat. The, you guys probably didn't notice it. We think so like this now. We're when going we're doing from, content. Yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, we're going from one type of content to another. This entire podcast, and it's not like it's not calling the audience stupid. It's literally just saying this is how the human brain this is, is human wired. And we've works. learned to communicate. This that isn't way. scripted whatsoever. No, this is how to entertain people. G Van has already done an intro for this video that specifically reflects, and then our title and thumbnail are also going to be. He notes on this. Episode. We talked about this title thumbnail two <laughs> weeks before we did the fucking episode. I love that now the comments are like, Jesus fucking Christ. You One hour, gonna... 22 minutes, 29 <laughs> seconds. You guys are going to leave this. Like, you guys are going to leave this like, oh my God, I see the matrix now. <laughs> All it's all ones and zeros, boys. Dude, all these little numbers come into play with what everyone's doing, and you have to refine it. Like, Jake, on the drive here, it's appreciating what you guys do at your level. You guys, when you watch some Corridor videos, you're like, holy fucking shit. And then I can tell you when Corridor reacts to VFX, that was their defining moment. It's like, yeah. oh, thank fucking Christ, we have something that works that generates views and we can replicate easily in and a pipeline without doing hours and months of VFX. And like the GQ shit and the uh, the corridor uh, VFX artist reacts is what inspired like some of my gun builders react series and stuff like that that started early on. Like it was it was just kind of like oh shit. It wasn't how do I copy that. It's like how do I take that concept and work that into what I already do. And like that's that's something that's really you know who else doesn't listen to this advice, Hollywood. No, that's weird, <laughs> crazy, <laughs> weird. Bro. About that writer strike again. His, <laughs> History Channel. Oh boy, wanted we're me talking to be, about that. Wanted me to be on a show. <sighs> I'm still. Oh I said, can we, I'm can still, we hear your no, we story? Can talk about right, it. We'd like to. I just like you, whatever you could talk about. What I mean, whatever. I didn't sign anything, so I can talk about all of it. Uh, basically, <laughs> a, a, a famous a famous Ghostbuster is going to have a new show come out where he does like basically YouTube top ten videos. That blew my mind. You didn't tell me that part before last night. Yeah, I didn't. So know. <laughs> he does like top ten videos, which is like a YouTube format, and they're going to try to copy it, and that's great. Whatever, that's fine. It works. It's established. It's science at this point. And this person, they got a hold of me because they're like, hey, I saw your bat bomb video. We wanted to do a topic on that. You have the most views for that video on YouTube. Do you want to come in on being our subject matter expert for the bat bomb? And I'm like, I fucking I read the book from the guy that designed it. I'm not an expert, but whatever. Sure. Why not? How much are you paying me? Uh, zero at first. And Ooh. I was like, oh, I'm not flying into LAX for zero ninety nine. Um, and they're <laughs> like, that. well, you know, typically we just get like history majors go, trying to get their master's degree from the local college and I go cool fucking get one I don't give a shit yeah congrats it's fine bro, like get that. history majors aren't bringing a couple million subscribers across platforms to your fucking tv show and uh they're like well we could probably give you 750 dollars and I'm like again no sorry yeah uh, no whatever uh so I didn't do that but uh they they're basically one, broke down free they, work dude they broke down the fucking show and uh I don't know. They just I tried to give advice, and then there was five producers telling me, no, you're wrong. And I was like, I mean, I get more views than the fucking History Channel does, but whatever. Yeah. And they just refused to listen. And I was like, all right, well, you guys have fun with that. Bye. And we're yeah. not downplaying $750. I will let you know across I the board. Am. It is. That is <laughs> that is far too little. For me. To, for to me no, like, no, no, no. For no, somebody like that to fly in. No, exactly. I'm downplaying no, that. That's why I'm Even like as an electrician, for me to take a week off to fly to a different state away from my wife and kids. If I don't get to go home to my wife at the end of the day, that's me working 24 hours a day. Yeah. That Period. Is the key. Yeah. So that's like, yeah. what I'm saying I don't, with $750. For me to take a week off and work. 24 hours a day, sleep in a fucking hotel room, pay for me to get eat out three times a day. 
It's not gonna fucking happen. I wouldn't. Hey, for you I to get eaten out three times a day, eat out like oh, at oh, a restaurant. Shit. No, they do you out. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, 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 LA. Well, yeah. It's, it's LA. LA. That was a pertinent question. Yeah, they will. They will rim you in LA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Nick wants to be ate out but, like, three I times would, a day. Like social social media show side. <laughs> well, you're not I paying two hundred fifty dollars a day like per eat. Those fat electrician legs just spread open. God, like, no, we know what you're saying, man. Yeah. It's, it's fucking. I wouldn't do that as an electrician, let alone like social media, whatever the fuck. No, and that's yeah, a lot of people don't. And they're like, so who, you turn that out. It's like, bro, this is a week worth of shit that I have to do. Fly, be away from my family, all these little things. And it what, is fucking and what, work. You, also, what people don't see is that how much we grinded our fucking faces off for zero dollars before any of this became a thing. Now we actually carry influence where we can sell things. We can get you views. We can, you know, sell your products. We can do those things, and we, it's not for nothing. We didn't get randomly chosen like fucking name out of a hat. Yeah, like we're we grinded to get here. To piggy off what Brandon was saying, <laughs> I went to. Um, it was yeah for that big shoot we just did a couple weeks ago. It was nine days. I did the math. I did nine days straight of 16 to 17 hour days leading up to those shoots, getting them done. I took one day off. That is these guys' work schedule. Usually a majority of the time that is one day off. We out of a month, you're taking maybe a handful of half days off and you're like, okay, that's good enough. I don't need any more. And it crushes the soul where people get weekends. They get nine to fives. It's not to downplay it. It is work. That is what a lot of people don't understand. Yeah. How much effort and work every individual that is working this lifestyle is putting in. Because they were like, hey, I want to fucking crush life. I want to like, do entrepreneurship. I want to run eight businesses. This is a fucking great idea. I want to open a new skate shop. <laughs> I want to run a gun shop, open a channel, run for Congress. I'm going to be an electrician. Also start long form, short form, every other piece of content. I want to get now rich, get a blumpkin, and fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> if we are working every fucking hour of our goddamn day. It's like it's what, awesome, what people don't see, like, like the RPG what? video. The RPG video, uh, like that was probably <laughs> two and a half hours of film. Watching you fuck up thirty five hundred dollars is fucking hilarious. I hope people appreciated that because that video, like that video in general, was was w over ten grand fuck. for me. It was it was over ten grand. And it was, <laughs> and that was money that I was not like I, I had no idea if that's I that's without that bad. camera rentals because we were friends. We also there is like, so many little pieces of this pie I that go eight, into it. Eight people on staff on set for that video, right? More or less, we had uh, fucking over ten thousand dollars put into it before I ever had any guarantee of any return or that the video would even get fucking monetized. My time, three days of coordination, like twenty thousand dollars worth of camera gear just yeah, on my least, end. Yeah, like our unsubs now. Like yeah. there, like that is in one fucking video. How many rockets did you shoot? Two more than I should have. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Them rockets was expensive. I was expecting two, but uh, the scope was not sighted in, and I had to figure out what the hold was for. RPGs aren't accurate, guys. I spent it's, seven extra thousand dollars on RPGs, and then my truck got stolen. <laughs> <laughs> How much was a ballistic dummy, Brandon? Oh yeah, no, I didn't even factor that in. Four about, grand. Yeah, four grand for a torso. Them's not cheap. Well, no. the other part for me was like, <laughs> people like, oh, your pieces. job is so easy. It's like, bro, bro, half the people commenting that don't have enough money for a ballistic dummy in their fucking bank account. <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> goddamn <laughs> congressman. <laughs> The other I, part, I'm, I'm fine with that. Just don't call my job easy. <laughs> the other part was like, for me, like, I, I don't know the editor. I don't trust the cast. Like, you could make me look like a dumbass or edit out all the funny. You know what I mean? Like, there's also an aspect oh, of that. Like, I did like, a thing. You could do that. You could yeah. Fucking, like, you, you could, could make me look like an asshole because I don't. So you could be completely disingenuous and uh, just make right. you look like an asshole for no reason. That's sure. So crazy. Yeah. yeah. Because you're Australian and whatever. The simplicity of editing a video is so much work that goes into it. You're just like, <sighs> for real. Uh, if, if your kids want to get involved in social media, get them started in video editing. It's a great start. It's a good start. It's, a good, it's good super, start. super good. I, mean, I think, I think we all, ed so. yeah, we all edit our, our own videos at some point. for the first couple years at yeah. least. 
until really until we that's yeah and and then hired an editor and then that editor is our friend that will help out in any way they want ever because they're legitimately our friends so I re- dude i remember i did uh airsoft videos and shit like sixth grade seventh grade in school and then like eighth grade i did video arts class where we all like basically just fought over the opportunity to record you know girls volleyball high school that you know that was just kind of what we did. Oh, that's a true thing. Yeah. No, did we you, had. We did had, you do video arts in uh, in high school? I didn't or? do video arts, but I had a I had a YouTube channel in high yeah. school though. And if you guys can find it, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Hey, I also have a, a YouTube channel from high school that's still up that you yeah. won't be able to find. Mine's still up. You're not going to find it. Hopefully, we'll see. I regret. Yeah. I deleted. You know what? I take it. I'm going to go home and delete it. I just challenged the internet. That's a fucking losing battle. I take it back. My it'll be gone before this episode airs. I, I promise. Re- I regret it. I deleted mine in like 2008. That's probably and a I, good idea. I I wish I fucking had. I wish I still had it, but yeah. for myself. Is that when you did like the audio file of Mein Kampf? No, fucker. <laughs> Who's huge? Oh, no. What, you're, you're talking about your jerkin' playlist? like <laughs> Congressman. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, also, what the... Eli, we got we to gotta step our game up. About what? We, I don't know. I like I got to get knighted or something. It's fucking congressman, colonel. Colonel. We got to get something. Purple heart. Oh, shit. We haven't talked Fuck. about that. <laughs> shit. Damn, boy. Oh, yeah, we haven't talked I don't about have anything. Thing. Oh, War yeah, hero. Fucking, colonel. Wait, hold on. Congressman. Electrician. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, at ease. Okay, we're good. Titties. <laughs> Dude, I, I went to my fucking P.O. box the other day, and there was this this cardboard surrounded around a letter, and I was like, do not bend. This is weird. I, I'm getting served right now. Something fucking happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally getting sued by some asshole I talked about getting shot on the internet. And I open it up, and it's from the governor of Kentucky. I am an official colonel in Kentucky now. And uh, a rich, rich got one too. Oh, an an- honorary angry, Kentucky Colonel. Honorary Kentucky Colonel, just like uh, Sanders. <laughs> yeah, angry cops got one the same day. I, it's <laughs> fucking weird. I wasn't expecting that. Shit. I don't know what I did. In Colonel Kentucky. Donut. Don't, operator, don't know what I did yeah. in Kentucky. But I, just, I don't know why I put a southern accent and yeah. made this really bad. Well, because the Colonel, <laughs> Colonel Donut operator and his student athletes. He was like, Donut, we should treat him like Jerry. It's like, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. Who's that peck of wood downtown who blows yeah, the glass? Who's that, who's that peck of wood? <laughs> See, uh, Governor Colonel, of Kentucky hit me up. I need a title. Hey, Jesus like, Christ. Uh, I don't know. I don't <laughs> know, Governor. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, it's getting a little as spicy as there, Gun. But... Jake is laughing. We're in the clear. That's yeah, for sure. Like, like, as, as long as our attorney is laughing, I was ordained at least. I can marry people. So Jake's I guess like, we yeah, reverend. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? Which he's, one? He's ordained. You're so he can marry people. Yeah, I, reverend. Yo, so. let me let me talk to you about something here soon. Oh yeah. What oh. is this a fucking oh. breaker? We got a new title for this episode. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> We're Can announcing. We, I'm in. <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys. We're gay. <laughs> we now have the F pass. <laughs> Watch oh out, internet. <laughs> you two actually got married just for that? The <laughs> <laughs> new shirt says F pass. <laughs> it's you two with wedding rings. <laughs> <laughs> it's like well, one, it's, it's like this carnival ticket. <laughs> Admit one. <laughs> We've been waiting a long time to say this, but welcome back to unsubscribe. I'm Dude. having so much fun just watching okay. Jake's facial reactions in the background know, as we're this filming this. Gr- <laughs> G- <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jake's like, this is gold. Why? Does oh my it god, it's perfect. <laughs> Oh, yeah, more YouTube life hacks. Um, The more opportunities you give for YouTube to make money, they'll push your videos more because they get to make more money, and then you get more views, then you make more money, they make more money, because that's how the algorithm works. It's one of those things that, well, they say it doesn't, but it does. They lied. They lie. YouTube wants money, So which is good, because I want money, That's one of those things that seems intuitive, but most people don't put together. Yep. It's kind of weird. Good content. We should stress that. Don't do shit content do for shit content. four hours and be like, it's not working. You guys lied. It's like, no, you had shit content. But when we've seen long form content over two hours, it is the algorithm's like, oh, okay. Also, I basic w- tonality. I went from like a lot of people that are doing YouTube. Hey guys, so I'm trying YouTube. <laughs> 
And today we're gonna it's like yeah, yeah, yeah fuck, fuck yeah, <laughs> Jake from Corridor, everybody. Jake from Corridor, take on this. Here's here's how you, you need to approach this. If you are scanning through radio frequencies, and I know this is outdated, it's dad talk. God damn, you're drinking behind the camera. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. I'm like, like, look, look, look. If you scan through radio frequencies and you stop at a song, apply the same mentality to your videos. Yeah. Tell yourself, would I stop at this song? Would I stop at this video? And if you wouldn't, well, then... And the answer is, if the answer is no, then give up. And the, No, no, no. The no, answer is not no. <laughs> I like Jake's but, voice right now. Like, Jake has deteriorated on his like, vocal so Jake, habits. Jake, right Jake is a very, he's a very wholesome family man, and he's not used to keeping up with us degenerates. <laughs> so, you know. Science. But that's the question we, all, we have always asked ourselves at Corridor, is... If you can click on it and if you can stop and you can pay attention to the thing that we're offering in the microsecond that you have been given, like that's yeah. that that's how you need to test yourself. And you you can't hold yourself to some unprecedented standard. You can't hold yourself to some out uh, like non equilibrium standard. Like if 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 people are gonna watch through and they're gonna get suggested videos and they're gonna click on your video. Then and stay there. Yeah. Then you apply yourself to that exact standard and don't have any qualms about it. It's not about ego. It's not about it. It's just it's if you, fairly it, objective. It, it's super objective. And if you can get yourself to put a video up in front of somebody and then they click on it, boom, you've done your job. Yeah. And that's is as simple as that. Science. And it is yeah. science. Oh, so what, and, and to that point, what, Cody, what do we call uh, the intro bit of our video for starting like in media res where we want to get a little bit of the video up front? I love it. Ready? The cum shot. The cum shot. It's, you start with the cum shot. Yeah. So if I, if I jump into a video and I say, hey, hey guys. I love you, Jake. Hey guys. No, Jake, Jake made a very good point there. If I'm like, hey. Um, it's literally to we're Jake's gonna, point, like what he was just talking about. We're going to talk about um, this guy got shot by police today but if i'm like hi everyone donut here this guy got smoked by a fucking police officer today and it was crazy as hell got him stick around to watch the video i'm already hard we have yeah, our youtube voices by the way basically yeah. it comes down to life. what is up you sex youtube mother lovers today we're gonna be talking yeah today everything. we're talking about <laughs> today we're talking about <laughs> so like literally it all comes down to like I can't we, do that in an unsub because we it's fucking an hour, two hours compressed into 10 if seconds. You, if you want to succeed at YouTube, all you have to do is establish the fact that people are going to give you their time. You have to respect that and provide value in return. And then we get to sell ads based on your time. That's all it is. So yeah. it's like, I have to respect your time. So like as an electrician, it's like, I hope you respect my time because I cost a lot of money to show up at your house and fix your electrical. It's the same exact concept. Like you're watching my video. I respect your time. I want to provide value. If you're not laughing or smiling, I want you to be learning. And if yeah. you're not learning, I want you to be laughing or smiling because my two categories that I overlap are funny and education. And, and I that's try just to what the, I want you to do. I try to do the same fucking thing. Exactly. Yeah. I it's all entertainment. The, yeah. I just, I hate this just inter, entered my brain is think of corn. Oh, at the that 10 one? seconds of corn if you were like <laughs> if you can hey, make Dad, an entire song like, like, <laughs> and then big boobs got revealed a fucking I love bus you, shot and I just love getting how this say and fucking then, um, boobs but not porn Bob. Oh, I thought we were talking about Corn the Band. That's why oh, yeah. I went no, with the. No, I, 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 I thought know. we were talking about Corn the Band. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah they, okay. they catch you with the. Um, <laughs> fuck that. Fuck that. Are we doing Dune now? I just thought about. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I thought we were talking about Creed. Porn entered my head where it's like. I would watch a whole porn video if it was like. Hey, Daddy, what's up? <laughs> and then it's a girl's like, boom, and then getting smashed, and then boom, the money shot. And you're like, man, I want to watch the whole video. That just reminded that me. That is exactly what YouTube so is. All I was you're thinking like, was like uh -huh, supernatural. I like, like this. Damn, I never I, thought I about that. I don't believe that the babysitter actually loves the pizza, man. <laughs> <laughs> if, okay, okay. Like fucking piggying off of what you just said. If you look through you porn, they have some of the best... The, the best fucking thumbnails in the world because it's like what Facts. you're into, what you're looking for. 
So if you want to know how, like, you know how to make thumbnails, <laughs> go to the corn tubs. Corn. If you click not on really, it, don't do that. <laughs> you know, that's the next T-shirt. A pe- corn tub. A, a corn literally tub. a husk of corn in a bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> but corn, 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 corn tub. It's, it's, <laughs> a, it's a full-ass tub with just corn in it. But it's like, colored in a way that looks like the corn tub logo. <laughs> oh, I like oh, this yeah. a lot. <laughs> You got two good, three good T-shirts out of today. Oh, yeah. I hate it. It's I never thought about it. Like I was like, oh my god, I click it. If if corn gave me ten seconds of hard intro of what's going on, I'd be like, I gotta watch I, this or Jo to it. I have a at question. Minimum. <laughs> I have a question about the new unsubscribe. Actually, go on. If we're all hosts, we're still yes. gonna have guests sometimes, right? Like right. most we'll probably of the time. rotate. I'm sure. So like, bit. does that mean for the first time ever, Eli gets a fucking day off? No. <laughs> Has there ever been one without you? One. <laughs> one. In over a hundred? A hundred and thirty-two <laughs> So you get you get you get like an episode off. That's like, maybe. That's like, I won't even know what to do. That's like the Asian, Asian tiger like, mom. What? You know how hard it's gonna be for me to try to like do a podcast with you standing in the corner? It's like <laughs> watching. <laughs> It's like Asian Tiger Mom. Right into 131? The, like, I mean, Why not 132? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I can't even imagine. <laughs> I, I watch an episode get uploaded without me. I'm like, what are you going to do with I'm this many hosts? Watch okay, let's, we're going to do what each individual is doing right now for the next big piece of content. And then we'll fucking close oh, this no. bitch out to the after show. <laughs> I know what mine who, is. Who are we starting with? Oh my God, Brandon, hold on. No, we're going to start. <laughs> Brandon's going to be last because I fucking love it. Uh, <laughs> we'll start with. We talked about yours last time. What's yeah. your next piece after that? After that? Yeah. Think oh, just... it's, it's in the after party, so I can still tell it here in normal podcast, right? Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. cool. So. Cody, who hasn't heard this before. Oh, this bro, dude, check bro, it out, bro. This let is me tell you a story. Let me <laughs> fucking God damn it. This is fucking dope. Uh, the first battle of World War II. You ready for this? Okay. Guess who the first men to fucking get their enormous ball sacks and stand up against the, the German war machine was in World War II. It's oh, we were talking about this today. Not not the same thing that you're talking about, but just like there's always two degrees of separation between someone famous and someone that did something great in a war. World no, war II nobody or famous. Civil so. War? World War One ends, and there's this, like, there's the Treaty of Versailles, Poland, Germany, whatever, they separate. There's this major port city known as Danzig or... Um, Mother! There's a different version Sorry. of uh, Danzig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Danzig. It's a major port city. The Germans want it. Poland wants it. It makes a lot of money, right? So they both agree that Danzig's going to be a free city, like the free city of Danzig. It's going to be its own separate entity. Germany has rights to it. Poland has rights to it, Okay. The post office in Danzig is Polish territory, kind of how like American post offices are federal property. Okay. Okay, so that's Polish territory. Uh, over over time, the twenty years between World War One and World War Two, the the brown shirts, like the hardcore Nazi advocates, uh, kind of take over Danzig, and it's primarily like Nazis living there. Poland sends in this badass military guerrilla fighter, and he is there to prep the postal workers in case the Germans try to attack Danzig. Is it Seam, Ohio? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's not fi- Polish. That's finished. <laughs> that's Finnish. Winter oh, War. Completely, sorry, di- sorry. completely different thing. Uh, so 1939, I not forget the exact the date. I, th- I think it's... Okay, <laughs> you want my fucking hot take for the day? Here's my hot take. Oh, the, greatest, I know going. the greatest sniper of all time is Carlos Hathcock. Sure, he only has 78 confirmed kills compared to like, what, 300? But also, he was hunting other trained snipers in the jungle, not conscripted Soviet 18-year-olds wearing olive green drabs in winter in fucking Finland. I agree, I agree with you. Better, I agree or, with sorry, Carlos you. Carlos better. I agree with Hathcock's better. I agree with you. However, he wasn't using a fucking Mosin. What? Who was using sorry, a Mosin? Sorry, all right, fucking. Simo was? Yeah. Had, I mean, yeah, Hathcock he had iron kind of had an optic on a fucking Modus on top of a mountain. I that was one saying. of them. Yeah, but that he also pioneered it. So he that gets credit. Of them. It wasn't like somebody like, here's a fucking Modus with an optic. No, he invented that shit. He did. Yeah. Hathcock's he the best. And then he. I will he argue had to the death. I, I agree with you. I was just playing a little DA here. <laughs> he had people walking over him on his x which is Fucking ridiculous. A dude Bro, like, do you know I Carlos Hathcock's nickname? 
Probably Angel of Death. No, or something no. Near White it. Feather. No, they're you know why? Oh, because, uh, yeah, because he'd stick a white feather in his hat while he was doing counter sniper operations to give the other sniper a fucking chance. Him shooting the general skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> was it a general or a colonel that he shot on the enemy opposition? It was like some general. It was a wasn't general. It? That was the one where he trekked he sn- like seven like days. Seven days on his, on his stomach. Had somebody step on him. Yeah, Carlos Hathcock is gangster as fuck. Fucking gangster. Anyways, finishing up the anyway, yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry, first yeah. battle of World War II, <laughs> right? So <laughs> the, the German SS, <laughs> like the special forces, hardcore Nazi Germans, the SS swore an oath to Hitler, not Germany, to fucking Hitler. These guys were like hardcore Nazis, right? They roll up. There's 180 of them. As opposed to the casual Nazis. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, look, I don't, I sympath- only kind I don't of sympathize hits. with Nazis. Only a little like, hits the truth. There's most a, most there's of the a, Germans were just like, hey, Germany's being attacked. There's a lot of 16-year-old kids that were like, hey, do what I tell you or I'm going to kill your fucking family. These guys were like hardcore radicals that believed in it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So these guys rolled up with armored cars and artillery to the fucking post office, 185 of them. And they sat there, and the postal workers are like, oh, fuck, we're not delivering mail today. We're throwing down. The Jesus. fucking Germans are sitting outside. <laughs> Poor post a, lady. German, a German warship rolls in. Imagine and the fires. people at your local post office. Well, no, yeah, that's what I'm imagining. My fat, yeah. like, like my fat lady that gets out and just like, yeah, no, is uncomfortable is, putting my mail in the no, slot. I mean, to be fair, this Man, is this like not mine. working in 1919. <laughs> this, is, this is back in the day when most women were stay at home moms, typically speaking, right? So it was all men. It was 43 yeah. grown ass men. And a German warship rolls into the harbor. Fires on the city of Danzig. This is the official start of World War II. When this battleship fires on Danzig, like that is Germany invading Poland. World War II has officially started. That is the signal for the SS Germans to attack this post office and take it over. 43 (laughs) postal workers who have been getting trained by a Polish guerrilla fucking fighter have been trained over the last like year and a half on how to defend this post office in case this happens. The Germans roll up. They open the door and they start walking in. Two fucking ger- or sorry, two Polish fucking po- mailmen with machine guns. Fucking, you've got mail. Open fire. Fucking wipe out like thirty fucking Germans. <laughs> they get pushed back, and the the German SS commander is like, "Oh fuck, this is really embarrassing. Ooh. I need to launch an attack on the backside." They run around to the backside, get repelled again. These That's fuck- called marriage. <laughs> These fucking postal <laughs> workers. Repel the SS Germans, German special forces for 19 fucking hours. They push back the Germans by themselves with no backup. They're calling in artillery fire on this fucking post office and they can't push them at. It's a huge embarrassment to like the German officer in charge. So like, yeah, that's the video I'm working on next. The yeah. first battle yeah. of World War II is 43 fucking mailmen that stand in, stood in front of the German war machine for 19 hours by themselves. Damn, listen to that title right there, dude. How Mailmen Defeated the German Army. 43 Polish mailmen versus the German war machine, and they won for 19 hours straight. That's the fucking title. If that's not foreshadowing of, like, you motherfuckers are going to have problems, I don't know what is. That's You've fucking got mail. Like, that's, <laughs> that's a good fucking great. That's a good bit. You've yeah. got yeah, mail. Like, yeah, right. go, 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 right, go, yeah. go. Just, The fucking, the two dudes at the first you were talking about, like, you got mail. It's just going to cut to somebody mag dumping the machine gun. Yeah. yeah. It's Tom Hanks saying you got mail and then just get mowed. I can't wait. So what's your next video you're working on? Oh, dude, it's just murder. You know? I don't know what to tell you. When someone gets shot by police, I analyze it, break it down. <laughs> that's, that's the breakdown, well, tell, everyone. Did they deserve it or not on this one? It yeah. depends on whether or not it's murder. Well, that's what kills me about people. It's like, did they deserve it or not? I always try to try, yeah. I try to stay neutral and say, hey, this... I, you they, do the, the best cops job. fucked I, I, up. I'm, I'm be honest. I really appreciate it because, like, there's nothing better than Cody, donut operator, being like, this guy's going to get fucking paid because <laughs> that was not the right thing to do. And We'll, we'll the, talk about that sometimes at, like, brunch. We'll, like, we'll just be going over a video and we're just like... Ew. Yeah, like that one wasn't he good. Was in the wrong. It's not a good shoot. It's like he's getting a lot of my tax money right now <laughs> because he shouldn't have got shot. Like, like and that. a lot of people don't realize that Cody, like, it, you're going into these because you're like, hey, and that was one of the most impactful uh, statements you did was when 
I, I forget which one happened, but you're like, man, I'm fucking done. It's when you announce, you're like, I just, I'm done with this shit. I hate that I have to cover this. It's a couple years ago or two years ago. And you're like, what the fuck? Why am I having to announce this? And you get to watch your genuine reaction. It's like, I'm tired of doing this because it is, it, it, it fucking weighs on you as a human. You're like, I don't want, like when the, when the police are doing something bad, you're like, fuck, dude. Like, why the fuck didn't you? I think yeah. it was a female it was, officer. It was the, yeah, it was the female officer that the was taser, like, taser, yeah, taser, 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 taser and gun. It's like, how fucking, and that, that's what kills me about the defund the police movement, because if you defund them, they're not going to get the training they need. They're going to go taser, 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 and kill a dude that probably shouldn't have been killed. But you know what? I do it for you guys. <laughs> but it, it, it is, it shows you like Cody... If you haven't known this, he he breaks down each and every one to that degree where you're like, it weighs on him. He talks about it. Like, yes, we we do all that, but your videos, you're like, you're weighing in on your honest opinion on it. It's fucking it's, awesome. It's hard to explain to people too, because like sometimes we'll we'll be at brunch and like There's probably no per, per brunch, me and you are probably looking at like three murders, whether it's Darwin oh, yeah. Awards, police shootings, whatever the fuck. Like we're just like, oh, have you seen this one yet? Oh, let's check this one out. That's like, like, you'll just like look at the like people around us. Like, there's like, nothing repulsed. harder than being neutral. <laughs> like, oh, Jesus no. Christ, I'm gonna give that a real not, opinion. People are gonna fucking hate me for it because I don't have an agenda. Agenda, sorry. <laughs> just no, you're one. absolutely agenda. right. God, I, I don't have a vagina. You're right. Yeah, you're fucking... we can't do a shirt. It's just a boner that says neutral. <laughs> it's like, uh, this is the hardest thing possible. Being right neutral now. is like a dick in porn. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh god but yeah yours is always based off of like hey what's going on god damn it it's fucking the politics that's going on right it's always now. facts dude i yeah. try i try to stick with the facts and that's what i love about you i like was still breaking down or just watching your videos i'm like home that's all you love about him really you like that is dick too it's fucking massive <laughs> My five inches, five whole <laughs> inches, <laughs> the four inch destroyer. Heather, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> don't comment. <laughs> Top comment pinned. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Brandon, what's your next video, dog? I don't want to talk about it. Which one is it, dog? No, tell us, Brandon. I'm shooting Martin Luther King Jr. in the head. <laughs> Oof, I was holding back my comments on... What the FBI has entered the chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, why, why to lose another lawsuit about why they did it? Yep. <laughs> so some of Brandon's most popular videos ever have been political assassinations, and they're fucking incredible. You've done... <laughs> JFK, JFK. Uh, Abraham Lincoln. We got, a, we got a few in the pipe, but one of the, the next one's going to be Martin Luther King Jr. Because uh, to me, that is a very, very interesting historic shooting. And uh, genuinely, after looking into it, and especially like influenced after very really much looking by, into it by Wendigoon, influenced by him quite a bit, and reading into it a good bit, man, the FBI fucking killed that dude. <laughs> oh, it's, for sure. And every every statement I make in this podcast, by the way, is entirely satire. I don't believe any of this stuff. I don't. Bro, I hope you don't believe it. This is totally real? satire. But the FBI fucking killed him. I don't mean this at all in any way. But JFK was. A fucking straight gangster, World War II veteran. You know what his paper, thank you for taking the heat off. You know, he, yeah, I know. You know what? It, you know what his paperweight was on his uh, desk in the Oval Office? Uh, it was half a coconut husk in acrylic, and on that coconut husk was a distress letter that he carved after PT boat 109 got rammed in half by a Japanese destroyer. Two of his men died, and he swam back out and dragged one of his men through the ocean back to a fucking island, <sighs> holding his uniform in his teeth. He, like, broke his back, saving his dude, Jesus wrote Christ. a distress letter on a coconut, gave it to an indigenous fucking person that lived on this island who delivered See? it to the U.S. military, and they went and saved him and his men. Uh, <laughs> fucking JFK also started the Navy SEALs, right? I don't know about that, but I do know once he got in office, he shot down Operation Northwood, which was quite yeah. literally you, instigating whoa. World War Three. No, go on on this Operation one, Northwood. Operation was... Northwood, the CIA approached JFK as president and was straight up like, hey, 
Um, we want to instigate World War III framing Cuba. We want to false flag the shit out of World we War We want to false flag and start World War III, and JFK is like, Co um, the, I'm a... The USS Spain okay, part Okay, just two. for reference, yeah. uh, two of these... Uh, out of a hundred percent, fifty percent don't don't know this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess for a majority of you, you don't know this story. The CIA literally approached JFK and was like, "Hey, we're actually gonna false flag World War Three with fucking Cuba." And JFK is like, "Uh, no, I'm a legit veteran. I've fought in war. We're not gonna do this for no fucking reason. No." And told the CIA, "We're not starting World War Three. Like fallout, like. Lockheed like, Martin disliked that. Yeah, like, like legit. <laughs> Tweet comes up on your phone, you're like, huh. <laughs> yeah, see, I, we didn't like that. So Raytheon he, hated that. He, <laughs> he, Raytheon did it. Lockheed uh, Martin, disliked. Raytheon hated that. Yeah. And then he said Negative some shit about Raytheon. the Federal Reserve, and then magically he got assassinated. Crazy. So weird. Crazy. I know. It's weird. He wanted a gold bag. Super weird. You know, yeah. Fucking currency and uh, okay brandon back to you <laughs> <laughs> yeah sorry brandon <laughs> that, no that's that's all i had <laughs> you're, you're just killing martin luther king got it no i'm, I'm talking about how <laughs> well shut up <laughs> oh no <laughs> he, look i have a dream where the fbi doesn't fucking kill its own citizens okay it, it's crazy like yeah. do any of the research on any of these it's the most ridiculous thing when you read about it if you're like i huh. recommend looking at a wendigoon wendigoon's video he has a very comprehensive like hour and a half breakdown on it and it yeah. is like i i went and verified a lot of his sources and it's uh it's scary it's freaky yeah a we're, lot of the things are scary while, while we're talking about youtube and world <laughs> war ii propaganda um uh -huh. so there's two phases of propaganda in human history i um, love drunk nick because i can see in his face world war ii already. his <laughs> eyes have done this I'm, I'm, I got the Listen good. Here. I'm going to tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Now, Go I, on. now I thought about it. I don't know if I want to say it. <laughs> no, World War II. So, like, uh, they suppressed a lot of the information. That's how they controlled the narrative. They could suppress information because the Internet wasn't a thing. No. And now that the Internet is a thing, they can no longer tell newspapers, hey, don't run with that. So the only other option when you can't suppress information is to over flood the network with so much information they can't tell what's true and what isn't. And that is the new era of information that you're in. It's not that you don't know the truth. The truth is out there. It's just that now you can't determine what's the truth and what's bullshit because they've oversaturated the market with so much fucking bullshit that you'll never find the truth. And on that note, we're going to end this. Cody's fucking back. Cody's uh, donut's fucking back. Bye, Guess who's everyone. Back. <laughs> back again. Welcome to the new fucking host. We got the battle electrician, Brandon Herrera, Cody, a.k.a. Donut Operator, sitting at the new table. This is like the subreddit's dream lineup they never thought they could Dude, get. Dude, they came. They came. We came. We came. Everyone came. We right came. Now. Come, Come subscribe. And we love it. Stick to the after show. We're going to do 20 minutes of bullshit. I don't know. Maybe 20. I don't know. Guys, where do we find you? Doesn't fucking matter. We're ending the segment. Because we're all the hosts. You can find us here. <laughs> Just fucking subscribe. Unsubscribe. Well, True. don't do that. Cody, sign do us it. out. <laughs> Unsubscribe, but still watch. Break the <clears throat> algorithm. Bye, everyone. Thank you for coming to the Unsubscribe Podcast 3.0. I'm joined here by Deli Double Tap. Brandon Berberba, and of course, Fat Electrician. Thank you for coming. We'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next podcast. Quack, bang out. <laughs>